We're uh we're officially live on twitch.tv forward slash cuck of the wook. Heck yeah. We are. Are we going to play New World or what? <laughs> Bro, right? Sure thing. It doesn't say New World, does it? No. Okay, cool. It says how to it says <laughs> oh, oh, I actually I named it incorrectly. I called it how to tame your dragon instead of train your dragon. What the fuck? There's also a it's one. It's not wrong. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> I think. Well, are we taming it more than we're training it? We'll find out soon enough. It seems like you're feeding it because y'all just keep throwing bodies down there with it. All right. So is that where we are? Have we during yeah, that's that? Where you guys, we yeah, have, have we thrown more? Huh? Have we thrown like the bodies from like back here and like upstairs down here as well? Oh, I don't know if you guys have left this room. We would like to have, correct? If th that changes things, if you guys left this room, uh, in either like I'd rather have the long say, rest. When we, yeah, when we started, oh. I want to check out this direction over here. I want to at least all we know is the dude was running this way. All right. Um, I guess to give a small recap, uh, you guys went past the dungeon area. You came into this like room, uh, started off here, and then you broke in. You found some more slaves and a couple kob kobolds guarding them. Uh, a slave was killed in the crossfire, I think. Uh, Rango, I got you mixed up with Sigmund for a second. I think Rango blasted one in the back of the head. Was that you yeah. that did that? Yeah, happens. Sounds about right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then you guys broke into this room, uh, found the dragon, who you guys found to be uh, Kinder Zerstung. Uh, you found him just feeding on people, uh, and then a kobold and a couple people. Uh, and one super, like, stoic kobold looked really, like, crazy, had a book in his hand. Uh, you killed him. He took the book from him. He was running off in this direction down here. And he threw his corpse into the pit with the dragon, and he got eaten up too. R.I.P. R.I.P. Cool. So that's where we are. Oh, also, you, thanks you for met your Reese. tome, dog. Yeah, you met Reese as well, and you, and you brought him out. And he currently still has no armor, but he has that battered up, broken shield, um, and then his uh, long sword. He's so. back at full HP, right? No, Reese isn't. He didn't rest with us? He rested, bro, but he's messed up. We he's... were messed up. I, I operate Reese on different <laughs> parameters here. All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Reese doesn't get a long rest. I'd like to drag this body. Oh, okay, cool. You drag that body and you toss it in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, he's had will... more than enough food, so he does. He doesn't really pay it any mind. Hmm. Perfect. That's what we want. <laughs> That's the goal. Yeah. Um. Are, are we allowing my healing potion creation during long rest? Yeah, sure. Why not? Do it up. Sweet. So we said four for a short, eight for a long. Yep. I would probably say just on good faith that I am. After that, in need of more supplies. So more supplies. Cool. Do not let me make more. I will not. We. No Until I say, hey, there's some water and flowers and succulents. Let me have some of those. Good old fashioned succulents. Sucky succulents. <laughs> growing in this cave? Oh, hey, more succulents. Cool. Easy money. <laughs> Well, Phyllis, uh, what's the what's the plan here? Well, sadly, after I uh, am finished with my reboot, uh, it takes me about three minutes to uh, recollect my memories. So, <laughs> still rebooting. All right, fair enough. Get back to you in three minutes. Sush, that was your talk. Thoughts? Uh, well, I'd like to see where this guy was running to. Fair enough. Is the sync tube running right now? Oh, yeah. It is. For me. Oh, it's not running for me. We got some spoopy dark tube music. Try refreshing. refreshing, yeah. I 
it's not gonna play it for me. I'll just play it for myself. There's a uh, deeper tunnel down there, is your toy? Assume he was just running to uh, running to backup. He was running to backup. I imagine. Did we deal with them? Also, Reese. Uh, any of these guys happen to be the executioner that you all were talking about? Uh, no, they, he's back that way where we came Fantastic. in. Fantastic. <laughs> Stuck between an executioner and a dark place. I, I don't know anything beyond this point. I've actually never been in this room either. Ready? Does it? Oh, it does. And. Um, I'll search for anything. Oh! Anything of interest? <laughs> nice. Got him. Oh, you got me. Yeah. Yeah, you thought there was more over here, but there isn't. <laughs> this close to getting stunning straight. Oh, oh, I just give a nice big belly tap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh, uh, don't, don't, don't put it past old Sersh for a good, a good fright. Seems like we needed one of those after we all almost died twice. Mm. Yep, yep, absolutely. I appreciate it, Sersh. <laughs> well... Uh, it's just uh, going no. deeper here. Yeah. Can I like peer else? down without going down and see if I can? Uh, yeah, go ahead and peer down. Uh, and roll a. I'll just tell you. Uh, you see. Uh, do you remember earlier at the beginning of the cave, and you saw some flashing lights kind of uh, down that pit when you crossed over into the uh, fungus area? Yeah. You remember yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so you see uh, very similar to those flashing lights, except they appear brighter. Um, and you look down, and there's like a pathway, and it seems like they're coming from the left side of the path, and then they're splashing up against the wall to the right. What do you see down there, Rango? I'm going to kind of lower my voice and be like, fellas, oh, there's, there's something down there. There's some light flashing about. But uh, I don't know if we should go down with What's this executioner like, Reese? Uh, well, he um, he plays with your mind. He he knows how to get involved. He's got an apprentice who works with poison. Uh, he's got all kinds of creatures, little rats, and yeah, he's terrible. He, he's you said he know, said he knows how to play with your mind. Yes. Like tricks, or he's. Is it Spellcast. magic in nature? Magic tricks. He's pretty much a a one-trick pony and just making you feel insane. Mm -hmm. Physically, mentally. So, That's good to know. I thought we were just going to be dealing with a brute. Well, we've but got. I don't think he's beyond this point. I don't know what's down here. Well, we've got the. Big project Kenny in the hole back there. And I suppose yeah. if we're gonna leave this place with him, like I said, the deeper we go, the more it ends up like I suspected. It just goes deeper, deeper, and deeper. These tunnels, we've been told they go through the whole mountain range. The execution is behind us. And River Marches gonna have trouble um a day's time it's midnight now oh, what do you say the, with all the people that were sick when we left i think they're already in trouble oh and that much more well what do you uh, say if i might make a suggestion you have your little dragon friend there what if he uh did some scouting Mm. I'm gonna look at Chuchi and I'm gonna be like not an awful idea and then, can we do that Rango? yeah I can cool so you send Chuchi down be there be careful so, oh, I want uh, him to I go sure down will, Rango. stealthy like cool uh, Chuchi heads down all stealthy like Um, do you want to peer through his eyes? like do you want to look through his eyes? 
Um, if it means I'll get a better... What's this wall? My fucking eyes just roll back in my head. Cool. Straight up like... Uh, now that is a fright. <laughs> That's weird. Look at him. Uh, he's not. He's not talking. So Rango. For once in his life. Uh, <laughs> you go like down. Punch him in the gut. Chuchu goes down. Wave in the hand. Through, in I am blind eyes. and deaf during this, so I guess you can't right. talk as much shit as you want. Uh, so Rango, <laughs> you go down uh, through Chuchu's eyes. He goes down the staircase, uh, and it goes down probably good like twenty, thirty more feet. Um, and you get down there, and you realize that to the right is just a wall, and there's like a path that goes like along this wall. Uh, and to the left is a giant like cavern. It's it's huge. It's just this big open space. Uh, Chuchi looks over the edge, and he sees that the lights were uh, torches and um, like people working with like metal. Uh, and these people are, are kobolds, and you see hundreds, maybe even thousands of kobolds all walking in one direction, gearing up, uh, kind of fighting with each other. Um, making weapons. Um, you see a couple like giant like beasts being drug along with chains, uh, and they all seem to be going in one direction. Can you like screenshot it and send it to me? I don't actually have it. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna all right, that's fine. It. That's fine. Um, think and of be- um, you said beasts. Yeah. Can I, like do I, do I, can I like roll like a history or nature or economy or something to? Yeah, sure. See if I know what it is. Uh, would it be mad? Is it? Do you want me to roll Arcana or Nature? Uh, you can do Nature. Nature's fine. Nat twenty. We're off to a good start. (laughs) Hilarious. Uh, Okay. So you see, uh, like a couple more, like of the giant, like crocodiles, uh, or alligators that you saw coming in, um. You see straight up like dinosaur looking creatures, uh, all kind of like chained up and they're like marching them along. All of them kind of like reptilian in nature. Okay. Um, about how much further down is this from like where? Oh, like a good 80 feet off this ledge. Okay. Like a good like 80 to 100 feet, even further down. Okay. Then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna like come to, so stop seeing through Chuchi's eyes. I'm mm-hmm. gonna, uh, you know, snap to like basically dismiss him and then yep. snap to make him reappear on. Cool. Yeah. He's back. Um, all right. Yeah. So I would have just come to eyes no longer rolled in the back of my head. Oh, Rango, you had me worried sick. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, it was, it was as white as a ghost. Yeah. Oh, well, wait. worried sick. Oh. <laughs> you guys are in for a treat. There's fucking thousands of them. Wait. Wait. What? Thousands of kobolds. Down what you- down that passage, there's there's a small was it like a I'm sorry, Ryan. Was this you said there's a, a path leading off to the right? Yeah, and it looks like it kinda like goes down like the hill, like yeah. or down like the uh like the yeah, wall. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha, kinda I gotcha. Like winds down. Yeah. Okay. Um down, down those stairs, there's a small cliff side, and there's a winding path leading down about, I don't know, 80 more feet. It's about 30 feet down the stairs, and then 80 feet lower, there's just a huge chasm. And there were kobolds sprawled out ho- over the whole cavern floor. They were marching, working on weapons, it seemed. And there were more of those uh, creatures similar to... Uh, what we handled when we crossed the river, like giant gators and other, like, I guess, reptilian in nature kind of beasts. Like, like the one in that pit? Uh, well, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I say we, we should get out of here. <laughs> you're, you're telling me I don't we've just know. stumbled upon essentially the war chest? There's a bloody army. Could I, could I have, like, did it get, like, dark to, like, either side, like, before I could see the beginning and end of, like, how many there were? Uh, it seemed like it went on for, like, perhaps miles. Like, 
it's a lot of like people and and <laughs> kobolds and other creatures kind of moving along together in one in unison. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fellas, I, I don't think we, I don't think we're prepared for what's deeper. Okay. Well, you don't have to tell me twice, Sosha. Move, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, we'll be with you in a minute, well, Gingu. Gingu, Gingu. Uh, I'll, I'll just stand guard. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Rango? I don't think, and I'm, once I've got his attention, I'm just going to speak like to everyone. I don't know how I feel about just leaving this passage open. Right? Fucking, there's huge projects back here sitting open for them to climb up and start got to training for evil, I guess, again. We've got to protect the dragon. I don't suppose this door would keep them out. I try just wiggling it. <laughs> Even if we have closed this passage, I mean, there's, there's thousands of them, like you're saying. They just... Mine this back out pretty easy. Does anyone know how to cause an earthquake? <laughs> Can't say I do. Ah, okay. Um. Well. Yeah. I. Uh... I'm not quite sure how to lock this off. I mean, we can close the store and wish for the best, but. I'm sure each and every one of them have a key. Did, All right. you, uh, did you say it was like an army down there? Yeah. It, it was as far as the eye could see. No, he kind of ponders over the Reese ponders over this information for a minute. Um, at the wall, they've, uh, they've been getting more organized. It's, uh, it used to be like raiding parties or straight kobolds coming across to, uh, Try to get past us, but lately it's not been to penetrate through the wall. Our defense has been more test them, like probe. I, I fear something great's happening. So you, you believe they're gathering information about tactics for a future attack? I'm not sure. I, I don't know, but they've been changing, involving the way they act. Like I said, more organized. Hmm. Well, yeah, with with the introduction of Tiamat, I believe their cause is as fervent and organized as ever. I fear this whole region will come to know them. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to talk to powers greater than ourselves to take this on. In the meantime, what the fuck are we going to do about Kenny? <laughs> it's Ken Kenny's, also, Kenny's this Kenny? alligator? King der Zog whatever? Kenny yeah, for sure. I mean, do all, if y'all want to call him Kenny. Kenny. Why not yeah, Kenny? Agreed. Kenny's, Kenny's easier. Well, it's got a nice ring to it. How big is this dragon, uh, like, height-wise? Uh, like, you could carry it. Oh, it? yeah, it's like really young. It's like maybe like like if it stood up on like its hind legs, it's maybe like four feet tall. It's like oh. super small. It's not big at all. OK. Hmm. Well, uh, how deep is this pit that you said? 15? I said it's like 15, 20 feet. Or, yeah. yeah, it's like 15, 20 yeah. feet. Well, I've got this rope. Uh, we could lasso it. Guys, I, I have a really bad idea here, and I'm gonna just pull out some rope, uh, one end to you, and just tie the other end to me. Oh God! I just want to see how aggressive he might be. Gingo, oh, wait, wait. Hold your tie. Attacks. Hold your tie. Oh, hold your tie. Hold your tie. Before you go in, take this. And I hand him my ring of feather falling. I uh, appreciate it, Gengu, but actually, 
inherently you have that. that. Yeah. <laughs> you inherently <laughs> have that? Well, yeah. Silly me. I thought you were just a damn lizard. <laughs> All right, lizard boy, give it back. Right. There you go. Oh, oh, I, I don't know. All right, I'm you... fastening the knot. Uh, I'm gonna personally roll how well that I tie this knot. Okay, that'll be like a survival or performance check, whichever you would rather do. Oh yeah, that's a 19. We're good at tying knots. Yeah. We're I think, good at I think knots. It's light. Before Boy Scout. before Ojitai hops on the rope, I'm gonna flip him a coin of guidance. And this is like this is like 50 feet of rope, right? Yeah. That's yeah. the default. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stand on this side. Once I get it tightened, I'm tightening it up as I'm walking to this corner. And now like the rope is across here. It's kind of ready for you to go. Oh, Jita, oh, you don't. Was that small? You, you don't believe that. I mean, it's an infant, all right? You can't communicate with it yet. Who knows? It might. Down here, uh, kobolds that have probably been speaking draconic to it. Do it. Do we know um, if it's. At least a little bit understand. Do we know if it's male or female? Oh, Jita, you could seduce it. <laughs> I'm gonna have Chuchi we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Thank Ch you. Chuchi's gonna perfect. crawl over and basically ride on fucking Ojitai's shoulder at this point. Ojitai, in situations like these, we can't be picky. <laughs> All right, on the count of three. One, two. I turn around and brace myself. Three. I'm just gonna hop. Down in there. Cool. Uh, so you hop down and like you and you land. Uh, and if you've ever seen like Anchorman, you land and like you're in like the bear pit right now, kind of. Yep. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, at the end. So you're sitting here, you're like, okay, I'm in. <laughs> uh, the uh, Kenny, as you guys have come to call him, kind of looks at you. And like for a second, he seems really confused. And then you see his eyes just kind of like light up with like intrigue and like excitement. And then he kind of starts like waddling over to you and like flapping his wings a little bit. And then he goes to like kind of bite at you. Is it, and can I do an insight check or something? Yeah. Is it like a attack bite or like a play bite? Yeah, go, yeah, do an insight. Check. Advantage on it. Chuchi's going to help you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so one was a 16, the other is much worse. So we'll go with six. You've got cool. guidance if you want yeah. to spend it. Remember it doesn't that. seem like it's trying to hurt you. Um, but, like, so, like, it missed its first bite, but it just kind of, like, went at you, and it looks excited and kind of wanting to play right now. Uh, I'm going to... Mm. Uh... Here, I'll just rope, and I throw my rope. Uh, I'm going to just take the rope, and I'm going to make a couple knots in it and I'm gonna try to make like basically a dog like leash war rope uh toy and just yeah toy with it and just like hold it out huh? to uh any there and in uh, draconic uh just here boy should I get it try to get it uh oh Jitai, you know, that was fifty feet of rope <laughs> that is such a large toy he does not need that so you like dangle it in front of him yeah, and like like a dog, his eyes just kind of track it for a second, and like he steadies himself, and watches its movement as you dangle it, and it goes to pounce on it, and it grabs it in its mouth, and it starts kind of like shaking his head, and wrestling with it. <laughs> uh, all right, I didn't think this far ahead for this actually working. Uh, there's your toy. Yeah. See if it'll let you touch it. Uh, yeah, uh, while he's biting on this rope, I'm going to just try to, you know, slowly, easily go to pat on top of his head. Cool. Do an animal, animal handling check. At advantage. At advantage, because Chuchi. You've got animal. guidance. Uh, 18. Yeah. Um. So it's so busy on this rope right now that you just kind of start petting, like, the back of its head, and it just kind of is letting you do it. Uh, uh, just slowly let off of fighting against it with the rope and just keep heading on him, see how he reacts. 
yeah, he's just yeah, he's he's just kind of playing with the rope, not really paying you any attention. He's want, pretty satisfied with that rope. I want Chuchi to start like pulling on the other end of the rope. Cool. <laughs> uh, roll uh roll Chuchi a strength check for me. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, well, wait, wait, wait. I've got to see what his strength even his strength modifier is. Minus four. Okay, got it. He's good. Nice. So a uh, seven. A seven. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so so it rolled a two, and uh, it, seems, <laughs> it seems like a pretty even even balance between Chuchi and this and this baby dragon right now. All right, cool. It's a. Uh, it seems pretty like a good little bout of tug of war between the two of them. Want, Chuchi's really getting involved. I want Chuchi like, to just audibly be it. like talking yeah. shit. Yeah, he's like he's like <laughs> Rango, you think. He ain't got nothing on me. Ugh, I got this one, Rango. Don't worry about it. Y'all go on without me. I'll keep him busy. <laughs> uh, and because Gengu will probably be mad at me if I don't check, I'm going to just check real quick. Can I tell if it's a male or a female? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a boy. All right. Kenny's a boy! Look at, yeah, look up at Gengu. Sorry to tell you, Gengu, but uh, it's a boy. Well... It wasn't going to be my problem, so... <laughs> I just didn't want you to get your hopes up, too, is all. I hope yeah. Scotty's hearing all this. All good. Just uh, hurry up down there. I can't can't stand up yeah. here with this rope around me for much longer. Cause were, rust. Were you hearing all this, Scotty? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, cool. It's good. It's good. Um, we're we're making progress. Should we pull him up? Tie the rope from me and try to... Tie it around, like around you know, his front. So you're tying pull him you're, up. You're tying me to the dragon. <laughs> I need someone to pull him out of here. Huh? So you're tying the rope around the dragon itself. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you tie the rope around it, uh, and it seems a little puzzled that it's being tied up right now. Um, do another animal handling check when you do that. At advantage, because. Chuchi's gonna be fucking finagling with it as well. R wrestling. <laughs> Ready? Uh, that's a twenty-one. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> still, Chuchi Chuchi's really giving him a good fight right now with this rope. So he's still focused on the other end with the the part that you still have tied up for him to huh? play with. Yeah, as he's kind of confused, I'm just gonna tell him it's okay, buddy. It's okay. We're gonna get you out of this hole here. I don't really want to pull it, but I don't suppose we want to leave it down there. I think he'll be fine, Gingu. He's taken a Chuchi and Ojatai pretty well. I don't think he's going to be a problem to us if we take him with us. How's Reese he's acting? He's <laughs> Reese is just kind of like a little bit of like an awe and shock and also just kind of like... This is the terrible. This is the, we should kill this thing. <laughs> Serious? I, uh, Look at that. They're getting along yeah. just fine. He's not tearing away at Ojitai. Uh, it's it's a baby. It's not big yet. Like, you don't suppose it can fly yet, can you? I don't think it'd be in this hole if it could fly. <sighs> I want Chuchi to like. Now it's put Chuchi together here. Chuchi, show show him how to fly. All right, do a uh, performance <laughs> check. <laughs> Please. Nat 20. We need it. Seven. All right. Chuchi <laughs> is, like, wrestling with him, and he's more focused on wrestling with the rope. So he goes to, like, fly up, but he pulls him back down to the ground. And so he just thinks that, like, Chuchi, like, did a little leap. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Could I uh, could I perform an insight check on race just specifically geared toward whether or not he's gonna take a swing at this thing if we pull him up? Uh, yeah, go for it. Like, just don't want him to kill our baby boy. Oh my god, our I'm baby that, boy! And that one. So, uh, yeah, you know, uh, he looks like he's got like murderous eyes towards this thing. You think god that as soon as this it. thing gets within reach of him, he's gonna strike it down? All right. Uh, by any chance, did anyone else attune the spies murmur? All picked up. 
the yeah I, yeah i have it i guess i didn't voice that but i would have liked to have attuned with that yeah in the long rest cool this is fucked up yeah yeah i'll i'll, I'll, I'll like do this to my i'll do this notion to my ear to just high I don't know that I'm focusing on the dragon. Uh, never mind. Sersha just goes, Bravo 6, go on dock. Look up at Dengu. All right, buddy. Yeah. I'm just going to get, get uncomfortably close to Reese. Okay. I, I believe that he's going to do he's something. He's kind of like side on you right now as you do that, but he doesn't say anything. <laughs> Chuchi. Uh, Lucas, I think you're muted. I'm going to telepathically say, Chuchi, help with the pool. And, like, my idea is that he would, like, kind of, like, press, like, try to lift him up as Gingu's pulling. Yeah, okay. but I've got sure. one main concern. Uh, I don't want to hang this dragon. It's around his, like, chest. Uh, I was saying, I'd, yeah, put it around, like, his body, not his okay. neck. It's like a harness okay. more than a collar. Okay, yeah. well, here we go. A what? Uh, roll a strength check. I'd like to help on this as well. Yeah, so do a strength check with advantage. Strength check with advantage. 20. 20. All right, so you start lifting this thing up. Uh, Chuchi's pressing on the bottom of it. As it gets airborne, you see this thing, like, its eyes go from excitement to, like, dread and fear as it's being lifted off of the ground. Uh, and it starts, like, freaking out and kind of screeching uh, and just kind of throwing its, like, claws and, like, waving its head around, like, real crazy. Um, but you guys are able to get it up onto the ledge here. Uh, Chuchi, the whole time, he's pushing on the bottom of it. And it, as soon as he gets up there, you see Chuchi kind of, like, sit down and, like, lean back on, like, he puts his arms behind his back. And Chuchi's like, man, Rango, that was that was a tough one, Rango. Can I, <laughs> can I take You five? did great. You did great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to have him crawl back up onto my shoulder. Cool. Uh, yeah, so this thing at this moment looks pretty scared, and it's kind of fighting with the rope right now, uh, just dragging it in different directions, trying to kind of get loose. I was just talking, can you jump up? Yeah, grab uh, grab one of them. Athletics, acrobatics grab, check something, try to get up. Grab yeah, a loose do, uh, arm. Grab a loose arm or something. Athletics check. I was hoping you'd say I can do acrobatics. Already. <sighs> That's a nine. Yeah, so you're able to jump up and you get your hand like you jump up pretty high and you get your hand almost to the ledge, but you can't grab on, so you fall back down. There's an never mind. I just gonna look around. Where are you gonna stay called? Uh, gonna... We have in hand? we have inherent jump heights. Yeah. So what's what is Ojitai's jump height? Uh... Probably easily fifteen. I can pull up the like. Well, no, because uh, based off of your strength, and strength isn't great. Um, uh, high jump is three plus your strength modifier. If you move at least ten feet, uh, one foot immediately before the jump. So that would be a three foot for me. And your how tall? Okay. Yeah, no, that's not enough then. Yeah, okay, six foot. Pretty sure I can jump three feet at like five nine. Then I'll like me, me IRL. I'll move up here <laughs> and toss my rope down. All right, as as Reese approaches, uh, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to grab both of his hands uh -huh. and like push him against the wall. And I'm just gonna say, no, Reese, no, 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 you can't do this. <laughs> uh, right. out. Roll a uh, roll a strength check opposite of Reese here. Okay. Not bad. It is good. I got an 18. Reese also got an 18. So oh. do another roll for me. Nat oh, 1. You got a nat 1? No, no, no. I got a 13. Oh. You got a nat 1. <laughs> so you're able to hey. struggle for All a right. second. I, I just want to hit him against this wall I don't know here. what happens to nat 1s, man. That'd be crazy. A shit oh. show ensues. Yeah, straight, so you push him up against back. the wall. Yeah, and I'm and I'm like, I like his his sword is still like in his hand. I just got to have his wrist. Yeah, and it's like, kind of like bank like hitting up against the wall as you like yep. as he's tussling with you. And I'm just kind of freaking out. Yeah, what are you? 
I wasn't going to do anything. I, I told no. you. I, I, you have the look. get this madman off me. No, you have the look in your eye. It's filled with rage. I know, I know what, what I know about. what you think about these dragons, but it, it's it's a child. You can't do this. I wasn't going to do anything. I just wanted a better <laughs> look of it. Then <laughs> I only just met you. I'm I'm just I'm afraid. I'm afraid, Reese. <laughs> Having like a mental break. Somebody please help! <laughs> I cannot get him off uh, of me. He's I'm like me. pulling Ojatai up during this. <laughs> While he's doing that, can I get up here? Hirsch? Yeah. Do we have a problem? What, what Kiku? Uh, Yes! This man intends to kill our baby boy! <laughs> can I like- Do you? Can I like insight check Reese? Yeah, go for it. 16? Yeah, he seemed just genuinely wanting to get a better look at this thing now that it was up there. He was not going over to kill that- that baby dragon. Baby- baby Kenny. Kenny. Sesh, I think- I think he's fine, Sesh. What? I don't think he means any- <laughs> How can no. you be sure? We just been, we just met the guy. I'll just pull out my hammer and have it at the ready at all times. Can I have like passive I mean, intimidation? I, I rolled in that one. I'm, I'm, I fully <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. believe yeah, yeah. this guy's gonna kill him. No, 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 no. no, no. Look, Starsha, Starsha. Gingu can watch him. Starsha, right? You, listen, you seem like a man of honor. What if I give you my word? Your word? My word. Put it on Morden. I don't believe in Morden. I do, damn it! Put it on him! <laughs> Fine on Morden and all that is holy, will you let me go? Oh. And does my grip just slowly start to release? But I, I have not taken a step back. I'm just. Alright, uh, you release and he, he starts wiggling away and goes over towards Gengu and, like, bumps up against the back of Gengu. He's like, that. Huh? That boy's mad. <laughs> damn it, I wanted Reese and I to be friends. That sucks. Fucking that one. I think I'm a madman. That boy is uh, my friend and my hammer, bro. Oh, and you better not kill this dragon. <laughs> you better not you. kill this dragon. <laughs> he, he just goes this way and he goes back over here. He's just, like, <laughs> just so while while keep you distance. Having, while Sersh is having his mental break there, I'm going to just be trying to calm Kenny over here because he seemed pretty upset. Go, do uh, one more animal handling check for me. This one won't be at advantage because Chuchi wanted to chill, so he's chilling. That's fine. I've got the guidance. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, you're Dude, able to just calm it down. Uh, you kind of whisper to it in Draconic, you know, and you calm it down. Uh, and it's familiar with Draconic, even though it's not speaking back to you. But it seems to relax, take a chill yeah. pill. Oh yeah. Yeah, once I've got it calmed down, I'll kind of step over to Gengu and say, oh, seems to be okay with me at least. I'll take the rope from you if you don't want to lead it. Absolutely. Hand it right on over. Gengu still believes this is like a croc, right? Yeah, I don't really know the difference between any scaly things. I just think, kind of like when I was younger... Side note, when I was a little boy, I thought that cats were female dogs. Kind of the, <laughs> kind of the same concept here. I think everything scaly is just a different reptile at their own life cycle. Like, I don't know. So at one point, Do you this think at some time. point I used to be this or yeah, other way around? I think that you are one of those just talking. <laughs> and I'm a little wigged out, but I mean, you're cool. So. I just assume you guys are relatives. So. Ojatai, you got that thing under control? I think so, for the time being. Well, I've got a feeling we're about to run into some trouble moving back up here, so. God, Godspeed, I suppose. Well, do what we got here in America, I guess. And then I'll as, watch the back. as I enter this doorway, I'm going to turn to Reese and be like, Reese, don't harm Kenny. As long as that thing doesn't touch me, I won't touch it back. Or I'll harm you. Well, then keep your distance, because I'm sure he's are you, curious. Are you trying to intimidate with that, or are you just saying that? Oh, I'm just reiterating what I said earlier. Okay. Cool. He takes note of everybody's wishes. <laughs> uh, Ojitai, as you're the one handling this thing, I can, I'll give you... 
special control of Kenny right now. Let's go. There you go. You should be able to control Kenny. What's this thing's full name again? Uh, Kinder Zerstoin. Yeah, I'm never gonna remember that Kenny. It is. <laughs> <laughs> can uh can can the effect of the Nat one start to like wear off on me here? Oh, and I yeah, kind yeah. of like reflect and see As that I, I reflect. was yeah. being. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he's four on Morden, so you, you feel what he is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I but but the way the way I acted, I I, I feel shame. Great. So, shame. I, or regret, regret at least. So I'm, I'm just gonna. Hang I come and put my right hand now. on on your back, Serge. The way you felt was entirely reasonable. I just and uh, I had your back, Emma bro. Thanks. Thanks, Kingo. Can always count on you. Oh, it looks I like just... they're, 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 they're getting way ahead of us. We gotta go. Oh, God. All right, all right, I, go. I, I'd love to talk, but next time, Hammer Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then can we both try to go in like through the door at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. All right, no, no. All right, all right. All right. after you. After you. All right. All right. It, it's a belly of yours, Sosh, in the new armor. Uh, no, I, I, uh, thanks. I want to already be upstairs at this point. Cool. <laughs> Everybody's trying upstairs. to like accentuate that they're like. <laughs> uh, you walk past that one uh, cobalt guard that you uh, rung the bell on. Nice. Uh, and you guys make it back up to this uh, dungeon floor. And you're now in this little corridor. The fuck am I? Oh, there it is. There you go. As as I'm the last one making up the stairs, Reese right here. Yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, about earlier. Just, just had a notion and I couldn't shake it. I uh, quite all right. Hope I you understand. can forgive me. Ten tensions are high. It's, it's okay. All right. Yeah. Let's I, go kill I this. I Gango as he walks past you guys and kind of looks over his <laughs> shoulder a little bit. Larry. <laughs> yeah, I do one of these. <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go kill this bastard. I gotta zoom out. I can't. Reach out my of rotator. character, real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Scotty, what's that yeah. new spell you got? Yes, I plan to use it. it take <laughs> it takes a minute. Right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how far we are. Within uh, an hour's. We're within an hour's reach, I'd say. Right. I'll talk about know, some shit. Really has no right. idea. Say what? I said, y'all talking about some shit Gengo had no idea of. Yeah. Well, this is out of character anyway, but. That Lucas has no idea of. <laughs> <laughs> Method acting. Hey, uh, hey, Reese. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, uh, can you let me know when, when we're just just outside of his room i mean it's it's just around the corner here all right all right then thanks all right everyone hold up i've got something i'd like to say please <laughs> please roleplay this out jesus christ i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do it's fine <laughs> i'm gonna all right so I'll, I'll cast a motivational speech um <laughs> Let's see. All right, so everyone gets five temporary HP. By the way, mm. I don't know how that works. In the, in uh... Reese appreciates this. I just won't add it until I hear the motivational speech. Oh my god! All right, <clears throat> gentlemen, take an E. I'll go that round. Now, I know what we've experienced down here has been tough. We've almost died. Kind of look up for a sec. Twice. But we're about to go face this bloke. A bloke who has done nothing but harm, deceive, trick, manipulate, and mangle all these poor people down here in this cave. Their lives have been taken from them. And so now, with the breath that we have, we're gonna take his. Alright? Are we in? I have said it better myself, Sersh. Let's do right. it. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna bang bang my hammer against my shield a couple of times. <laughs> uh, Let's go hey, get him. 
as you wrap up your speech and you're banging on your shield, uh, Ojitai is kind of really intently focused on, so Kenny gets away from just a little bit. He kind of g- gives you a little playful nibble on your arm. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, even Kenny's into it. Kenny's just Go get him, Kenny. Kenny. Like, right eyed, like, <laughs> All right, so, uh, Ryan, just so you're aware, uh-huh. it's the uh, five temporary HP, and then um, everyone gets advantage on wisdom saving throws. Cool. Um, if an affected creature is hit by an attack, it has advantage on the next attack roll it makes. Um, cool. Once the, cre- uh, once the affected creature, which is basically everyone here, loses the temporary hit points granted by the spell, the spell ends for that creature. So. Uh, so now, five uh, if total or five other? Uh, it says once uh, an affected creature loses the temporary hit points, so that's only five. So if you're taking a melee hit, you probably won't no, get no, it. Uh, sorry, I was meaning a number of creatures it affects. It affects um, up to five creatures total. Okay. Yes. So. I was hoping Kenny would get the hit points too. Yes, it, it, he would. It's you three. Oh wait, no, including me. Fuck. Now I would give it to all, all the party and race. Cool. Um, and so question about that really fast. So if let's say they take the hit and then they lose all five of their hit points, like the additional hit points, do they still get advantage on that next? The way I'm reading it, the spell ends immediately. Yeah, it says once an affected creature loses the temporary hit points, the spell ends for that creature. So. It's going to be hard to get advantage after a melee attack, but... Hey, well, I guess know. really any attack. Yeah, because at higher levels, you gain more temporary HP, so... It's just going to be a little weak at its first iteration. All right. Really, the main benefit is we get advantage on, on wisdom. wisdom yeah. yeah, wisdom saves. Okay. Yeah, just don't get hit for it. <laughs> uh, All right. Is- as as we get out here, I'm gonna back into this little cubby and say, Reese, I'm not suggesting you lead the way, but by all means, point in the right direction. If we're really doing this, I've been waiting a long time. No oh, fuck, he's just gonna go. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's fine. I'll go. In. Whatever. I'm gonna let everyone pass. Where'd he go? There he is. Tank to stay on Reese. I go. I insist. All right. And uh, you guys walk into, um, you start walking into this room. Uh, there is a lady alive right here, just chained down to the uh, to this table. Uh, there's one right here, Gord. Um, you see a bunch of like, um, those like little like uh, like uh, like hooks that like they use for like hay bales or like bags covered in like blood. Um, you see, like, axes covered in blood, little, like, spikes and knives kind of with dried blood all over them. Uh, these cages have dried blood all over them. Um, as you can, look, the floor looks pretty crimson, uh, just dried blood all over the floor as well. Looks pretty gross and messed up inside here. Um, well, this is it. Uh, the lady looks unresponsive on the, uh, on the table there. Can I go perform a medicine check to see if she's... Yeah. 21? Uh, yeah, she is currently, like, unconscious, but breathing. Okay. What, she won't stir if we try to, like, wake her, I'm guessing? Yeah, she she looks pretty battered and beat up. Okay. Well, need to keep her safe. Cool. Yes, we can come back for uh, it. <laughs> is she tied down? Is she still tied yeah, she's down? She's got a chain. Yeah. She's got a chain around her All right. leg. Uh, behind you guys, a gate drops from the ceiling. It was kind of like oh, hidden fuck. up in, uh, like it's kind of like it had like stone on either side of it. It's like its own little like hole that it was in, and it mm. drops down behind mm. you guys. Uh, guys, uh, bad uh, news. Ah, uh, fuck. I've got a bad feeling about this. Is there... Uh, this wouldn't possibly be a uh, one of those mind games you were talking about, would it? I, I don't know. He, he 
Yeah, he's an evil man. I'm gonna to assume he knows we're here. I'm gonna walk up to the gate and try to like grab one of the bars. Okay. It is solid like steel. Okay. Oh. This one doesn't seem like a mind game to me. Is there any way I can lift it back to where it was? Uh, sure you can you try. Can try. <laughs> Chuchi's gonna I help. Will, <laughs> I will try to lift it with athletics. Go for it. Chuchi's with you. Nine. <laughs> Roll. At, uh, Chuchi's gonna help, bro. Oh, it, is it advantage? Yeah. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Sixteen. Uh, you're able to get it like a couple feet. It's like probably like two feet up off the ground, but not all the way up. But you're just currently holding it up right now. Really, all right, really, I drop really it, really turn around, and all right. Well, at least we know if you guys right. have to get out, I can Reece hold it up for you. Begins exclaiming, "You bastard!" And if you look up here, uh, a, a hooded man and a hooded, smaller individual. You can't tell what races they are, or what they look like. Oh, fuck. Um, as both of them. How small is a smaller individual? Pretty small, like two Pretty and a small. half, three feet tall. Okay. Okay. Um, Boom. They appear to be wearing these masks right here. I have the picture. Coffee. Yeah. Nice. Let's see. Yes. Oh my gosh! The first thing I saw was the Mario picture. Yeah, same. <laughs> they look like, a lot like, like Mario. Mario. <laughs> That's an interesting mask. <laughs> they look like this. That's crazy. <laughs> Out of character, y'all saw the cast lineup for the new Mario movie, right? Oh yeah. my gosh, yeah. Alright, that's all I need to say. <laughs> cool. Um, oh, okay. These, like, Lovely. bags over their head. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Um, <laughs> the, only oh thing I'm, the only thing I'm thinking of is that fucking scene in Django where he's like, my wife spent all night <laughs> like so these things for you. It just you just have no appreciation. Uh, now we all think the bags are a good idea. <laughs> we all think they're a good idea. Next time we'll go with the bags, just not this time. Well, I'm going home. Y'all ungrateful sons of bitches. <laughs> uh, um he begins to walk out uh with his apprentice uh that Reese is talking about close and troll. Oh, welcome back, Reese. It's been a minute since you've been in here. I see you've brought company. Uh, well, shall we start? I kind of want to blast. He draws out his sword. Yeah. Uh, he he was ready to react as well. Um, so I'll let you blast, but he is also going to do something. Oh, fun. I'm right up behind Reese. All right. Got me, uh, me shiny coin. Mm -hmm. Does a 19 hit? 19 does hit him. Okay. Hey. Or 14 damage. Cool. He takes 14 damage. Does, right off the rip. Does the second blast come out or not? Um, We'll say no. Okay. That's fun. Uh, he. Half-hearted. <laughs> yeah, half-hearted blast. Reaction a a blast. quick reaction blast. Uh, yeah, he, didn't get to put that much thought into it. Um, he like throws his hand and whispers something, and all of you feel a sort of presence come over your body. You do have to make a wisdom saving throw, which we have advantage hey. on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck me running. Four. What? Oh, I rolled a two dear. and a three. <laughs> oh, wow. Dear Lord. I was just going to do. Oh, I'm just... dead, boys. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to start swinging at us. It's a good thing I had that advantage for that wisdom saving throw for one turn. Oh. I was going to tie, and I got 15, and Sersh got 26. 20 fucking. Damn. God. Straight, my guy. 
Maybe. This man has no influence <laughs> over the mind of this dwarf. <laughs> And that okay. wasn't even that. No, so, it was a 19. Um, everybody, so Gangu got a 4, and then uh, everybody else's numbers were... 15 or higher. 15 or higher? Yeah, yeah. me and Ojita got 15, and then Sersh got 26. Cool. All right. Yep. Cool. Thank you for your candor. Um, okay, now everybody roll initiative after that. Fifteen. Hey, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. I'll take a three. Oh, sir, shit. Sure. Oh, plus zero initiative, bro. Then the fate of the die. Fourteen. So, so fourteen uh, for Rango. Ojitai got a... Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Sersha got a... Three. Three. I want to... Re- I'm going to request some uh, Doom music. Oh, yeah? Doom music? All right. Okay. Gangu. What is your role for initiative? Uh, hold on one second. Uh, 15. 15 for Gengu. Okay. All right. Um, so we will start with uh, Ojitai. Ojitai, you have the first action. Do we do we not uh, know the resolution of the wisdom save? Uh, nothing that you all can tell. Okay. All right. Uh, so I uh, go ahead and try to break out my new thing and uh, do three key points. Try to cast hold person. But he needs to make a wisdom save. Okay. DC is fourteen. He does not save. Sweet. Let's go. Uh, so I'm just going to throw my hand out towards him. And as I do, like, ice just starts forming on him and it holds him in place. Okay. Uh, to where he is unable to move until my next turn. Okay. Or wait, no. Still... Uh, hold person is his turn. He has to spend his action at the end of the turn to try to make another wisdom save to get out of it. Okay, so he can't do anything except for try to get out. Correct. Okay, understood. Let me go to... And how long does that last? Uh, Until he saves. It lasts up to a minute. Or until he saves. Alright, cool. Uh, Is that end your turn? Uh, Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, bonus action, kind of Add on to a Kenny next to me. Okay, little buddy. We'll be all right over here. I'm going to stay where I'm at. Uh, okay, let me do something real fast. Ooh, let me make sure. Uh, so while he's under the effect of hold person, he is paralyzed. He needs... Okay. Uh, automatically fails strength and dex saving throws, attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and any attack that hits him, uh, if you're within five feet of him, is an automatic crit. Holy balls. Heck yeah. There's about to be some fucking <laughs> damage, rolling, bro. <laughs> Roll damage. I said there's about to be some fucking damage. If they auto crit in melee. Alright. Is that total? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, You I see on uh, Gengu steps up, and Reese is sitting in front of Gengu, like, waiting to engage uh, the executioner. And you see as the Warhammer of Gengu launches down and hits into the back of Reese. (gasps) uh, See, he did. Nine points of damage into Reese. I was about to say, he I didn't, did. hear, I did, I didn't he hear Lucas took my say I bro. want to hit. He took my bro. No. Why? Fuck. Um, uh, and Gangu, you start walking towards uh, him as well. 
Oh, fuck me. Towards the executioner. I'm still entering in everybody's house real fast. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> fucking Lucas. God damn it. Uh... Alright. Uh, with that, Reese, um, it is now, I believe, Reese's turn. No, it's Rango's turn. So you strike into the back of Reese, and as you do, you continue walking past Reese towards the executioner. Uh, and Reese is like recovering from this. He's brought to his knees because you hit him in the back. You took the wind out of him. And he gets up. Ah, what was that for? Uh, and Gangu, that is your turn. Rango. Just, turn. just to be, just to be sure, he's not concentrating on whatever is no. happening to Gangu. Okay. No. Okay. Um, yikes. That's terrifying. Then. Uh. Uh. Then I am going to I'm just gonna fuck, I don't wanna do that. Okay. Uh let me measure real quick. Sorry. It's all good. I'm gonna go over here. And then I'm going to fucking blast. Or actually, okay, blast away. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll first. I'm gonna X the guy, and then I'm gonna blast. All right, blast him. Actually, wait. Is it just melee attacks that get the auto crits? Oh yeah. Uh, or yes, just melee attacks get auto crits, but everything is at advantage. Okay. Um, then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hex the guy. Um. Okay. And then, so I flip a coin, zaps him, and then we're gonna blast. Okay, blast away. We're talking straight blast, you boys. 26 to hit. It hits. Or nine plus, that's nine force and six necrotic. Yep. And then... Does 21 hit? Yep. For 7 force and 2 necrotic. And oh, sorry, total. then I'm going to say, I'm just going to say, I'm going to like kind of look at Gingu and say, fucking mind tricks. And that's going to be my turn. All right. Uh, it is Reese's turn. You blast this guy a couple times. Uh, he, he, you can tell it affects him, but he tries his best to show no emotion. So I'll have him roll. I uh, I just close something. I mean, close. Well, he's paralyzed or whatever, right? Yeah. So, yeah, he's just kind of sitting there, just take getting beat on the side of him. Uh, Reese charges in. You bastard! I've waited so long, and he charges straight in. Fuck him up, Reese. And he Auto crits. They hit. I think I, I fucking accidentally closed the fucking encounter that we were in. It's all good. It saves itself. Just open it back up. Cool. Uh, yeah, Reese. So it auto crits. So I just roll damage. All right. Uh, no, you still have to hit. Have to roll to hit. Damage to hit. Cool. Um, well, he hits him. Then it's an auto. Cool. Uh, you see as Reese strikes down one across him. Uh, Reese deals him 16 damage. He's going to go again. Let's go. Uh, that time he does not hit. Does he have Damn. advantage on attack rolls? Yes. Yeah, he's got advantage on the attacks. Okay. Let me roll one more to hit then. Uh, cool, because he does hit him there. Let's go! 23 damage. Let's go! Uh, already the executioner looks like he's about to get executed. He looks <laughs> real messed, really messed up. 
Um, uh, that ends Reese's turn. Uh, he lets out like a war cry as he as he strikes down. Um, the little one, the uh, the apprentice, walks up towards Reese and pulls out a dagger and goes to stab Reese with the dagger. The little little boy. Yep. Music is perfect. Oh wait, it's it's about to get not quite. Just imagine this little kid walking over him with a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see, as this dagger strikes, uh, like he walks up, Reese is focused on the executioner. The poison. Uh, this dagger s- stabs up, like underneath, like the rib cage into Reese, and you see as Reese, like, kind of stands there for a second. And then falls to his knees and then falls over to his side, prone. Uh, and from what it looks like to you guys, he looks dead. Well, All right. He didn't heal from the fucking long rest, right? Yeah. Um, and then it, Gengu. he is going to, so he walks up, does that to, to Reese there. He is then going to. Look directly at Rango, I believe. Let me make sure that that is correct. Before you go describing anything, tell me if it's a spell. Uh, Yep. It is... I do not... I believe that's a spell. Let me make sure. It is not a spell. Okay. Um, per Google, it is not a spell. <laughs> um, make an intelligence saving throw. Uh, 20. Okay. Uh, no effect. You feel that he was trying to do some sort of mind control on you. Um, but you, you, it has no effect on you. Um, and with that, he will conclude his turn. Uh, now the executioner who looks really messed up, he is going to, it is a wisdom saving throw, correct? Yep. Cool. He does not break out of it. Uh, can he speak while he's in this state? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I'll let him speak for the flavor. Paralyzed. Doesn't say if he can or can't. Incapacitated. <laughs> Incapacitated. Paralyzed. Can't yeah. take actions or reactions. Oh, no. Oh, uh, can't move or speak. Creature is incapacitated. Can't move or speak. Yeah. Cannot move or speak. Okay. Cool. So he says nothing. He's silent and stuck. Uh, and after not being able to break out that time, he looks concerned with this <laughs> current situation. Um, cool. Sersha, it is your turn. All right. Um, since he's... Well, he said it wasn't concentration, huh? Okay. All right. Um, can I... I'm going to message you something real quick, Ryan. Would you consider Gengo to be charmed? Um, he is. Yes, he is charmed. Okay. Uh, let me check something really fast. Oh my fucking god, Gingu has so many hit points. <laughs> Six to nine. So 
So I do have mindless rage, which means I can't be charmed while I'm raging. But since I wasn't already raging, right? Um, I'm just gonna play as if it doesn't cancel it, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And I can't just like start rage to for that reason. It's a cop out for sure. Uh. Good news, if you're not raging, it's going to be easier for us to deal with this. That is for sure. On to... 100% Sorry. true. I, I, I will go ahead and say, I'll go ahead and say <laughs> that it is a spell. We'll go ahead and say that it's a spell. I was more concerned about the level. Uh, there, that's the thing, is it? It doesn't give a level. Actually, no, because it it's not part of his spell casting. Because he does have other spells, so it is not a spell. That makes it easy if I just use my brain cells. It is not part of his spell list. It is a it is a certain is an extra thing that he has, so it is not a spell. But but you said he's charmed. So is yes. it magic that's holding him? Uh, it is. It's telepathic. Okay. Um, so, are, are we that's under the assumption that it's it's like hive mind while he's up? Yes. Okay. All right. That answers my question. All right. Then I will just position myself right here, and I'm going to cast uh, guiding bolt right. at second level at him. 23 to hit. That hits. Mm. Oh my god, look at all those oh fucking god. ones. That's nine. How would you like to end this man's life? Oh, oh, thank, thank god. god. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, I thought I'd squandered it. Unbelievable. Um, okay, so Guiding Bolt is like... Yeah, like a flashlight with like radiant stuff, yeah. yeah. So, um... The... I would like... I kind of picture, like, because he's in the ice, that kind of, like, the bolt pierces through the ice into him, mm -hmm. and all, like, the light that emanates from the wound is being refracted by the ice and just, like, dancing all around the room as he just kind of, like, grumbles and doesn't explode, but just, I'd like the ice to, like, crack, and then he, fuck it, yeah. he explodes. He explodes. <laughs> he, he, as the executioner gets pierced and it, all the light starts poking out of him and he just explodes into a gazillion pieces. Um, nice. Shards of ice go flying along with gory body parts. Uh, yep. Angu appears to snap out of it. Um, Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> I immediately <laughs> grab my cloth and start wiping all this guts <laughs> off me. Yeah. You know it's me as soon as you see me polishing myself yeah. off. <laughs> and I'm uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to. Uh... Well, shit. Actually, I might be able to do something. Um. Nah, I'll save that. Do 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 do. Yeah, as... I'll just go. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. yeah. I was gonna I was... say as he explodes, you the the little one, um, kind of yells out. Master, no. Um, I'm gonna use my bonus action to be uh, look at Gengu and be like, "Nice to have you back, Hammer Bro." Hey, you guys mind uh, telling me what's going on? Hit the little guy. Uh, say no more. <laughs> no more. All right, that's it for me. Cool. It is back up to the top of the the, the order here. So Ojutai. Uh, how is Kenny reacting in all this? Uh, Kenny kind of seems to be, like, intrigued, but he's kind of cowering back a little bit. Like, it's a bunch of loud screaming. Right, I'm gonna, gonna again just try to, you know, calm Kenny, and uh, I'll try to quickly throw a couple of darts over at a uh, little guy. Okay. Nothing else. It's range. Fourteen hit. Uh, fourteen hits. Eight. Five damage for the first one. 
five damage. Seventeen. Yep, that hits. Or six damage. Six damage. The darts pierce into him a couple times, and he ah. Uh, and is that your turn? Uh, yeah, just gonna sit here, try to keep any calm. Cool. Gangu, it is your turn. Yep. Time for um. Question. You see Reese on the ground. Uh, you kind of. You have you you knew that you were like under control and you and you're aware of what you've done. Okay. If that's what your question was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is a shield? Does that count as armor? Uh, yes. It does okay. A shield. Uh, I'm just gonna downward smackaroo on this little guy. Okay. While uh, yeah, I I see Reese on the ground like he's completely dead up against the wall, right? He appears to you to look dead. All right. All right, yeah, huge internal struggle, but I'm uh, downward smacking on here because okay. uh, Hammer Bro told me to. Um, I'm going to attack recklessly. All right. Uh, 18. I rolled two 11s. 18 hits. Okay. I'm going to hit him for six damage. Six. How was he uh, affected by that by that hit? Uh, you smacked down on him. Uh, he still looks healthy. He still doesn't look too. It's like a piece of rubber it just bounced right off of him. Yeah. All right, we're going right back at him. Another yeah. downward smack. Angus playing whack a mole. Yeah. Sixteen to hit. Sixteen hits. Okay. All right, we're gonna hit him for eleven. But that this one, time, that one has a great effect on him. Uh, he starts to cough up some blood. All right, we're barbing him as well. All right, barb away. First one goes on me. Three damage. I'm going to take that away from my temp. And then second one goes on him. Two damage. Cool. Two more damage. The barb stick through and he lets out a... Ah! Um, but he still looks uh, ready for the fight, but he does look messed up. And then uh, I guess as like a supplement action, I would like to just go over to this guy and kind of like just... He could take a deeper look at him, kind of just stare at him. Cool. Um, yeah, you can't really... I mean, he looks like he's been stabbed, as far as you can tell. That is, that's all you can see from there. Any uh, hammer puncture wounds? Uh, you realize some severe bruising on his back. Okay, some but I'm aware bruise. that I smacked him. Yeah, you know full and well that yeah. you hit recently. Yeah, so like... Now what I'm thinking is I'm having this internal conflict of like... right. What have I done? Yeah, um, what have I done? Is this my fault? Like, yeah. sort of thing. I don't even want to fight this little guy. I'm more concerned about, about what yeah. I did. Not even about this guy's well-being, just, like, what I did. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, you all see Gengu kind of zone out for a second after he strikes the uh, the small one a couple times, and he looks a little um, conflicted within himself. Rango. We're fucking blasting. Okay. 21. Uh, yeah, 21 hits. 7 force. Cool. Uh, he looks extremely, extremely messed up with that one. This is That uh, one hits as well. I rolled that wrong. It's 13. Sorry. Yeah, 13. 13 to hit? 13 does not hit. Okay. And then a little shimmer of the gauntlets, and we're blasting again. Okay. 20. 20 hits. Or 11 damage. 11 damage. Uh, you see this last bolt pierces through uh, the right side of his chest where his heart would be. Uh, and it brings him to his knees and he falls face first and blood starts leaking out of his mouth and he is dead. Um, at this point, this woman right here starts to twitch and uh, and just shaking violently. Um, and you see that like her stomach starts like protruding out a little bit in several places, like her midsection. Oh, fuck me. Um, <laughs> she comes oh. conscious for just a moment uh, and lets out a just a blood curling like. Scream. Oh, God. Someone it's hold terrible. Kenny. 
Um, Covering Kenny, Kenny's Kenny's ears. completely shocked by this. Uh, and then bursting out of like her chest and stomach is you see a bunch of just like rats, like this giant swarm of rats. Uh, and they all have like, oh their my brains God. exposed and they appear to be like glowing. Uh, and they just appear like they start jumping out of her chest and stomach. And uh, she's dead, but those have now just started swarming out of her. Um, and with that. Uh, Rango, did you have anything else you were going to do with your turn? I've still got one blast coming out. I cool. guess it's going to fucking fly it. I'm going to like backpedal some and that that blast like blast like whichever ones have scurried to this side. Yeah, right now they're all just kind of scattered on that table. They seem to be sticking together. <clears throat> Fuck it, blast how, how certain am I that she is dead? Dude, she is her like chest and stomach are completely exposed, <laughs> and they have been like eating her insides. Okay, then yes, we're blasting the table in general. Okay, twenty. Uh, yeah, twenty hits. Uh, uh, six damage. Six damage. Uh, you see, as a couple of rats get blasted off into nothingness. Is this evaporate. wall like high or anything? How high is uh, this? Yeah, that's like a ledge. It's like 10 feet up. 10 feet up? Okay. Is this like a gate wall type deal? Yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm just I'm gonna go jump up on this table over here. Okay. Um Let me make a couple rolls really fast. I'm sure they'll have no problem beating my three. <laughs> cool. Um and with that, it gets down to Sersha. Oh, the, the rats are going? Okay. No, not yet. Um, are So am I understanding that an attack made on them is like on one creature? Pretty much, yeah. They're, they're like right. a, it's like a swarm of them. They all seem to be sticking together. Then seeing the blast connect, I will uh, first back up to these stairs and then... Uh, Smash yield plane and cast toll of the dead. All right. Little wisdom fifteen save for the wisdom boys. 15. For the boys. They do not save. All right. Two d twelve incoming. That's a max, nearly max roll. Eighteen for the boys. You see, is a good portion of the rats like. The heads just explode from this toll of the dead. Um, <laughs> snaps, still, snaps. There, there, there's about, I would say, uh, one quarter of what originally popped out left in this swarm. All right, uh, that's it for me. That is that is in your turn. Okay. Um, let me go back and look at the stat sheet real fast. Cool. We'll be right back. Uh, the rats that do remain kind of scan the area for a second wrong uh the rats that do remain kind of sc look around for a second uh and they do notice that the closest thing to him is ojitai so they're gonna jump off the table and scurry straight at ojitai uh ojitai they begin trying to crawl up onto you uh and you feel them like talking to you in your in your head um or just making weird uh, sounds and stuff, and it seems telepathically they're trying to do something to you. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Or, sorry, hold on. Intelligence saving throw. Damn. Okay. Uh, 16. 16. Uh, yeah, so they don't have... Uh, you don't feel any kind of effect. You felt like they were trying to do something to you, um, but a couple of them do start to try to bite you. And they bite quite well. Um, take 17 damage. They just start nibbling all over you. Um, and and they, they seem like they're trying to like teeth. digging into your skin, bro. Mm. They're, they're really messing you up here. Uh, and with that, it is your turn. Kenny at this point is really spazzing out. Uh, these, these rats just started climbing all over you guys. I'm guessing he's kind of behind you. 
Yeah, I'm kind of between him yeah. and the rats. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to shake off whatever rats are on me, and I'm gonna uh, hold breath them. Cool. They make a con save. Twelve. Constitution save of twelve. They fail. Bang. Three d six. Uh, fourteen damage. You Let's see. As you smack off the ones that are on you that were biting onto you, they all fall into kind of a pile and you blow your frost breath, breath to them. Uh, and they start to slow their movement as they're still trying to get to you in a feral state. Um, but they all freeze and they are completely dead, frozen, encapsulated in ice. And that will end initiative in this fight. Wow. That fight could have gone very, very differently. <laughs> Uh, dude, what happens if like we all fail the wisdom check? Like, do we just the end of we're slaves? We become his slaves. Yeah. Like, no, it's tough. Mm -hmm. Do we make? Were you? Were you, Was Lucas making a wisdom save every? Uh, I didn't get on, around on, to it. It didn't get yeah. around to him. Yeah. So no. we just make wisdom saves until it broke out, yeah. right? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, to tell you what that was, what it, what his, uh, if you would like to know what the, it's not a spell, because it's like something, I based his character off the Inquisitor of the Mind Fire, uh, and the Inquisitor's Command, it recharges, uh, every round, so he has to recharge every round to keep it going as well, um, and he has to roll a five or a six, um, and if he rolls that, then it continues on, um, that's how it would, like, stop, is if he didn't, yeah, recharge, so, Technically, as long as he was alive, Gangu could have been under his control. Um, but uh, each creature of the Inquisitor's choice that can see within 60 feet of it must succeed on a DC 15 wisdom saving throw or be charmed until the start of the Inquisitor's next turn, which is where the recharge comes in. Uh, on the charm target's turn, the Inquisitor can telepathically control the target's move, action, or both. When controlled in this way, the target can only take attack. Inquisitor chooses the target or dash action. Um, so the Inquisitor chooses what it does. R.I.P. Executioner. I barely saved on that. Yeah. yeah. Terrifying. <laughs> That's cool. the speech worked out. Um, what would Sir yeah, have real. done if it was just him there? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Since it wasn't a spell, like, uh, yeah, I I figure I'd just have to kill him. That'd be tough. So as the as fucking Ojitai fucking breathes these fucking rats off of him. I guess that'd still be over. I'm gonna, like, jump down and say, Ojitai, is Kenny holding up? How is Kenny holding up? Uh, Kenny is, like, kind of shaking and cowering behind you at this point. I'm gonna s send Chuchi over to, like, kind of fucking, I don't know, play around with Kenny, I guess. Cool. Uh, Kenny, like, kind of bites at him, almost in, like, a defensive state. Or kind of, like, lets him know, like, hey, do not come any closer. Or you're gonna get snapped up. Alright. Hey, hey, hey Chuchi, you might want to keep your distance for a little bit, and I'm just gonna, gonna try to walk around a little bit with Kenny, get him away from, uh, dead rats here. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna, uh, run up to Reese. And I cast Spare the Dying. Cool. Uh, so, how does remind me again all the everything about Spare the Dying? Uh, it's just a touch. Uh, you touch a living creature that has zero hit points, the creature becomes stable. Cool. One hit point, right? Yeah. I'm going to have he, a healing potion in my hand at the ready. It comes up him. one hit point. Um, and you realize that the wound that is like underneath of him is like looks toxic and like gangrene, basically. Um, could I perform a medicine check to see if I know how to help? Uh, yeah. I also would like to help. Unbelievable, man. That's a nat one. Uh, <laughs> to you, you, you feel like on a battlefield, you've seen this before. You've seen infections take hold of many. Um, yeah, I'm going to hand him the healing potion. Cool. Uh, he's, he, let me, uh, roll for him. Uh, Gengu, you wanted to? Uh, yeah, I rolled an 11. 
It's no good. What, uh, well, you feel like that it's merely a poison, not really an infection. And if you can find some way to get a cure for it, he could be okay. Hmm. Uh, I relay the message to search. It, what is it? D, D6 plus, or D4? 2D, 2D4 plus 2. 2D4 plus 2. I'm assuming I would overhear Gingu relaying that to Sersh. He uh, drinks the potion, um, and he starts to get back on his feet. Um, and he's, you know, ah, oh, thanks. Uh, he makes eye contact with Gengu and goes to draw a sword and tries to engage Gengu. Um, whoa, whoa, right. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I'm gonna try. I'm yeah. gonna try to get between them. All right. I'm gonna say, Reese, Reese, you said it yourself. Mind tricks. For the that machine attacked me. I would He's... never, in my right mind, attack you. The execution is dead here on the floor, right? It was uh, him. And he looks down and then he grabs his like side and winces for a second. Uh, I. And he just kind of starts walking off by himself. Uh, and his face looks uh, a mixture of pain and emotion as he walks away. And he just kind of goes and he slouches over and sits into this corner right here. Praise Moradin. I was not emotionally ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... I've made a believer out of it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... Hey, I'm going to hey, take what... a two-minute break and go grab some water and stuff downstairs. Okay. It seems like a good pivot point. Uh, one converted soul makes it all worth it we're (laughs) we're investigating all right two nines sick 14 cool uh investigating which uh let's use that on the small one okay uh i will pause for a moment until uh um lucas gets back okay we're pausing, and I'm gonna go get some water too. Yeah, I will take a little quick bathroom break.
Yeah, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> I, I, I guess Ringo, that's... I guess you know correctly. He's still, uh... He's not thrilled with the idea, but... He, he accepts what you said as fact. I mean, you're friends, right? You and Kenny? Get along. I, I suppose. Oh, his feelings are hurt. I'm going to pat right. him on the head. Cool. He uh, he starts a lot, you know, kind of leans into your, your pats. Oh. Okay. He, feels, he feels much better. <laughs> um, Cool. You were in the middle of investigating. 14 on little guy. man. Cool. Uh, so explain to me what you do when investigating little man. I don't know what he looks like. So is he hooded? Like, does he have a yeah, cloak he's got, on? He's got like the same hood as, and he's got like robes and a cloak, but he's I'm also pulling the, the mask hood. off. That's the first thing right. I'll do. Cool. Bruce Wayne. Jinkies. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, roll a persuasion or history check. Pers Not persuasion. Perception or history. Okay, okay. AP word. Just one of the P's. You just roll a P, it'll be fine. Just one uh, the or, or history, you said? Can Chuchi yeah, help? Or... Yep. Actually, Chuchi cannot help. Fuck. Five. I'm sorry. Five. <laughs> um, it's a halfling, but you feel like you can't exactly tell who it is or what it is, but it is a halfling. Okay. All right. And then uh, pockets. Cool. You start going through the pockets of this, uh, the small one. And you find. Uh, first you find uh, on the ground is his uh, dagger, which is covered in a poison. Um, and this poison, the way it works is like it attacks the, the brain. Um, it's like psychic poison. Oh, shit. Where's Reese? Other than that, his pockets seem pretty barren. There's not really much else going on in his robes. Any, like, I don't know, like anti-venom or... Does not seem to be anything there. Okay. Uh, then once I get done with this guy, I'm going to say, well, fellas, he's a halfling. His dagger is coated pretty well with poison. Um... Would anybody else like to do perceptions or history checks on him? Yeah, I'll... Scooch over to I'll, this guy. I'm close oh, to him. I'll, just, he's right there. I'll hear him say that, and then, like, in my hermit travels, I'm like, oh, I've seen a few halflings. I'll just walk up. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, you know, check might as well. Yeah, might as well. 19. 19. Okay. Are they all perceptions? Yeah. And so... 17. Uh, Sersha walks over and gets a gets a closer look, um, and you notice that this halfling uh, has severely like scarred face, uh, grayish skin on him. Um, but the eyes of the halfling uh, bear a great resemblance to another halfling you know. Um, okay. This halfling looks extremely. You look into the eyes, and you've seen these eyes before on a much older halfling. This halfling eyes resembles the Ooh. eyes of uh, Phil Kankins. No, what? Motherfucker! No. Wait, 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 wait. Kankins. How long have we been down here? Okay, all right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this I'm is going, in character. Go in character. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this out. I'm on my knee. And I, I just peer, peer and kind of rub my eyes. And... You look at the age. So you say that. You say, how long have we been down here? Uh, further inspection. This halfling is not old enough to be Phil Pinkins. It's a younger Oh, uh, fuck me. Probably late yeah. teens. Yeah. I get where you're going. All right. Uh, I'm just going to look and be like, oh, oh, no. Guys, yeah, I believe this is Phil Kankin's son. No. How can you be sure? 
I mean, his face is scarred and distorted, but just look at his eyes. Let me look at him. Let me look at him. They're Phil's. They're his father's eyes. I hold them up, just like right in front of me like this. Yeah. Uh, they do seem to resemble Mr. Kankins. Oh. It is Kankins. <laughs> oh, I just oh, put the body my. down. I kind of like turn, turn away and just... Just shaking. I would have been knelt down at this other body, so I just kind of like turn around and then like look down. Yep. Well, we, we've we got to take this body back, back to Cabbageville. I swiftly turn around. I I agree, but we we can't take him like that. <sighs> what we brought up. I try I take out my cloth and just start polishing him. Seeing if that would work. Roll for four. <laughs> oh man. We we brought his 14. clothes back, right? Fourteen. Yeah. Uh, you're able to like, like the blood that is leaking out of his mouth and eyes and nose because you shot through his heart with a, a blast. Uh, you're able to clean all that up, so he's no longer got blood all over his face. But we 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 took we found his clothes and stuff right in that chest, and we took it back to him. Yeah. Yeah, Back to Phil. To, yeah, he gave it Fuck. To him. <sighs> on second thought. On second thought. I don't think we bring him back. It just you, looks as if. What do you just mean? Just looks Hager? as if. The man deserves and, to bury it. Uh, I agree. They took his son, but wouldn't it be cruel to we'll, tell him we'll, that they turned his son into one of their own? It also looks like Rango and I killed him. And that's not the case. I mean, it is, but... I would like it to not be that way with Mr. Kink. I... Sometimes ignorance is bliss. I think someone told me that once upon a time. Well, I'll... You all know my thoughts, but I will leave it to the group. I feel like it would be far too cruel to tell Kinkins that his son has been alive this entire time, only for him to have been burned by these people. It's Rango. better just to let him believe in dead. Rango, I'm conflicted. And the only thing you're good for is those stupid coins of yours. So, uh... <laughs> How about you, uh, just flip one. Heads, we take them back. Tails, we leave them. I just hand off the coin to him and start searching this body. All right. Which I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait the for them to finish. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait for them yeah, to okay. finish. But... Do I know how to flip a coin? My fingers are kind of chunky. <laughs> I, don't know if I don't know if it's possible. But uh, my you, hands you are like... Slide of hand. performance check or slide of hand, yeah. Slide a hand to flip this coin. All right, my coin flipping skills are ten. Like we smack dab down the middle. We haven't called what's what. Like what heads or tails? Is. You might need to explain to Gingu how flipping a coin works. He's the on one that brought it up. Something. He's uh, the one that brought it up. I just handed it off. Roll I don't a d4. Wanna... Roll not... a d4, and one and two will be heads, and then three and four will be tails. All right, I just my version of flipping is just throwing it at the ground and letting it settle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know what it's heads or tails is? Nope, it's a one. I mean, I think it's up to us what heads or tails is. Ingu doesn't seem to know that. Okay, it's a one. So what do I see, what do I see it as? Like, what's the coin face on the ground if I rolled a one? Um, it's like it's uh because you guys came through the uh the the dwarves gate, so this gold has been minted through like dwarven like uh like. Uh, a mint, so it's got like a dwarf's face on it. Beard. Oh well, he looks like heads. So uh, we leave him. Let's go. Okay, and then while he was doing that, I would have been investigating. So. Cool. Uh, yeah, roll an investigation check on him. Got an eleven. Eleven. Uh, yeah, you're able to find. Uh, he he does have a silver longsword on him. 
Um, and you see that he's got like um. Some... I toss that to the side for everyone to see. Or just he's kinda, got like you know. Uh, he's got like some like um, bread like crumbs, kind of like in a little baggie. Um, and it looks like. Yeah, it's just like a little baggie of breadcrumbs in it. Um, and then he also has um, a dagger. This dagger is also covered in the same poison that the uh, the other dagger appears to be covered in. So, question out of character. Are these daggers, like, like special? Uh, yeah, they are mind poison daggers. Mind poison daggers? Mm-hmm. How many are there of them are there? Two. Uh, two. I'm trying to grab one. You fucking, I, I'll, uh, I'm proficient with poisoner's kit, so I imagine that I'd, I'd take one. Is it? His dagger of is venom. Is it a legit? Oh, is, is that it? Mm-hmm. Dagger of Venom. I can just tell you what its stats are. Would you just like to know its stats? Is that what you're looking for? I'm just looking for an item that's relevant to add. So if I were to use this later, I could just use this. Yeah, what are the unless I need to make um, a custom item. Uh yeah, so it's like a regular dagger. Um so it has regular dagger stats as far as that, but uh it does uh extra three D six of psychic damage. Okay. Uh fuck. Is there a save on the psychic damage or just does the extra damage? No, it just does the extra damage. Um, but it looks like it is covered in like goo. So after a while, it seems like it'll wear off. All right. I'll say probably about five more uses of this. Of either of the, we'll say four for the one that has already been used on Reese and five for the one that's fresh that you found in uh, the executioner's pocket. And then after that point, it becomes a regular dagger. Okay. Uh, then, yeah, I'm just going to toss the silver longsword out, and then I'm going to snatch up that dagger. The other dagger would have been laying on the small guy, which you are on young Kankins, which on I'm sure Kankins. when you lifted him up, you would have noticed. So. Um, and uh, I'll pull the hood off of his face. Uh, yeah, so the executioner is a, a dragonborn with like red skelly skin. Um, his he sounded really like he didn't he didn't like you know dragonborns might have like an accent or something like that. He seemed very well versed in common, um, pretty well educated. Spoke like a normal commoner. Okay, and once I've Done that. I can I search extra hard for? Oh, well, I'm gonna make my way up to this. How the fuck do we room. get out of here? Yeah, I'm uh, looking do, for do, a way do, out. Do a perception check when you like in that room. <laughs> Oops, that's persuasion. Oh my uh, god! Another you can one. The gate, the open. Jesus. Seventeen. Oh, I'm, I'm useless. Uh, Gangu, you see a Focus. chain on this little pillar over here. All right, I'm gonna go pull the chain. It does. It look like it's attached to the ceiling, like a pulley system, yeah, or something. Okay, I'm gonna pull it. Uh, you pull it, uh, and you and you hear some like gears start to turn. Uh, and if you look back outside, that gate starts to come up. The one that was dropped down behind you guys. If I let go of the chain, does it stay? Uh, it appears to. Yes. Okay. Awesome. I'm gonna pull it all the way up and keep it there. Cool. The gate has now been removed. Uh. Right, Everyone, if if y'all don't mind, I'm. I just I just don't feel right leaving the boy on the ground. I'm gonna just give him a proper sending before we go. I'm just gonna kneel down and kind of pick him up in my arms. Mm -hmm. I wanna take him over here. Cool. So go ahead and move him. And then uh, I'm just going to kind of like slightly, you know, tap my hammer 
and cast uh well is there some hay up here yep there's some all hay right back there. i'm gonna collect some of that real quick cool do 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 i'm gonna bring them down get some hay yeah i'm just gonna shower or just kind of en envelop a minute and cast sacred flame on the hay cool yeah so, your uh, father was a great man or your father is a good man rather gotta cool. see if he's still uh, alive though Sersha, give yourself a inspiration point for that one chief thanks you oh. mighty inspiring fellow i'm gonna just say may uh may more than guide you to peace son we'll take care of your father before right. i start walking this way i'm gonna say grace <laughs> Yeah, I. Right. Let's get out of here. And do an insight on him. Sure. See where he's at. Just, just, just body language. You know, we're just going for five. Jesus, man. I also want to insight uh, well, Reese as he's crossing 12. me. He seems 12. pretty. A uh, twelve. Yeah. 12. Um, for one, he still seems pretty cross that Gengu smacked him in the back. Um, but yeah. he also seems to be mentally not doing too well. Okay, I got an 18 inciting him as he crossed me. 18? Yeah. Yeah, you can tell he's not pleased with you at all. Um, and he seems to be struggling very much mentally. It seems like his brain is racing in a thousand different directions at this point. Um, right. And he seems to be wincing in pain and grabbing at his side. I'm going to keep a 15-foot gap between us. Okay. Yeah, what can we even do to help him? I don't even know. Sacred flame. <laughs> One way. <laughs> I'm gonna like. <laughs> oh, no, do I see? Do, 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 where I'm gonna go check on. Homegirl. How far away is Rango? I'm gonna. Can I fast travel I'll somewhere? I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait to make sure that everyone's like that. Cool. At least one uh, person if, sees me. If you guys are done searching in this dungeon area, we can just go straight to the entrance. A fast travel to next POI. Oh, I'm down. Uh, I want to make sure the chick is good. The girl is still unless there yeah. happens to be a Warhammer plus two somewhere that I don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is not. Unless there okay. happens to be another. There is places to search though. Unless oh. there happens to be another human guard with an earpiece for me to get. With a what? <laughs> the murmur. Yeah. Oh no no no! You don't see anything. Yeah, there was a. I remember there was a couple paths that we left untouched when we did a perception at an intersection and heard sound coming from one. So, so there are. Are we... I'm assuming the chick is going to tag along. Yeah, so you went over there. Uh, you pop around the corner. How do you approach? Uh, slowly. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, she looks up, uh, and you can see that she's got some sort of, like, makeshift piece of stone that she's, like, sharpened like in her hand and she says uh, you and like she like drops it and it's like oh uh, uh, are we leaving is it time to leave i'm gonna go cool uh she gets up and follows along all right are you guys heading straight out anything else that you want to like search any containers or anything or are we just heading out i'm good to head out cool good to head out good yeah is it yeah, like let's do it 1 a.m. now or something? Yeah. It's been about an hour. Um, and we'll just go ahead and say that uh because well we'll get we'll get up to this point here. Somewhere along the line, I let go of Kenny. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't oh, leave yeah, I Kenny gotta, I behind. Gotta drag like the three different extra party members along with me. Hold on. Grab Reese. The the woman. Okay, I got him. And Kenny. Kenny didn't get away. You guys are back to this point. All right. 
Um, Race, you need to hit the weight room, bro. A little small. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shrunk him down a little bit on accident. Cool. Uh, oh. Are you guys following the chalk out? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I guess I could have just asked that. In that case, then you guys can just walk straight out. Cool. Incredible. Incredible. Smart. In incredulous. Good you did good, kid. You did good. We walk out and it's dark as fuck. Whoa. Am that I okay? Weird. Uh, I think we... Did we lose him? Lucas. Well, like, Lost he's still here. Oh, uh, look at this. No, no, I'm no. The DMC. No. no. Do, 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 do. Not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Are you guys wanting to go straight back to Kankin's village? No. Yeah. Oh. No, you're not. That's all right. We got to do something about yeah, the dragon. I, I want to go at the furthest to the end of the cave. Okay. But not out to the... Cool. So do, any, uh, do any of these bodies on our way out have, like, a cloak? Now roll um, investigation, or, like... Yeah, sure, go ahead and roll investigation. Useless nine. But, I mean, I'm looking for a cloak, so... Yeah, you find, like, a couple of the kobolds have, like, cloaks and robes on. I'm just fucking gathering all sorts of shit. <laughs> All right, you gather all sorts of shit. And then um, good. Cool. So you guys are back at the 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 very like the 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 very entrance of the cave. You see sunlight for the first time in several 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 hours. Uh poking through. Actually, it's 1 a.m. You don't see oh, okay, any sunlight. It's dark as shit. You see moonlight. <laughs> hello, hello. Hey. Are we at uh, Yeah, my internet just dropped off for no reason. Mm. Okay. Uh, to update you, everybody kind of voted to be at the entrance of the cave, and since it's like I'm about it, it is is lit by moonlight when you get to the. Uh, seems like a full moon. Got it. As we're at the entrance, I'm gonna kind of take the, uh, the cloaks, and mm -hmm. have them like in my arms, and I'm gonna be like, I'm just gonna kind of approach Ojita, and I'm gonna be like, unless you got something better, probably on. Ought to not be walking around with a dragon out in the open. And then I'm going to just, like, hold him out to him. Cool. Um, are you trying to... So you're trying to disguise him? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'll, I'll I don't know. We, went, we we discussed the familiar thing. No. Do you, Well, do you want to do the familiar thing or the disguise? How... Okay, well, okay. Would we have any idea... Which one would be easier to pass off? Uh, if you get the disguise and you get it really well, then you're only going to have to do that once uh, unless somebody's really focusing in on the dragon. Okay. But if you're trying to pass it off as a familiar, you're going to have to probably have to roll deception checks more frequently. But you won't have to do it like, you know, right now, you don't have to do anything to it or waste anything on it. It just is. You just say, hey, you're, you're straight lying. Okay. Straight fibbing. Then I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to hand off the clothes. And then as he goes to uh, disguise him, I'm going to say, Choochie, give him a hand and I'm going to flip him a coin. <laughs> Guidance. Cool. Uh, right. Roll a either performance or deception check, whichever one you prefer. For disguise. Oh, fuck. Well. Both are negatives. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense for me to do it. Yeah, it's gonna be me. So Chuchi is helping me. So do I get advantage? You do get advantage. Yeah. And okay, somebody that's... had a disguise kit, didn't they? Or talk about I do it? Not. I talked oh, about it. I never picked one up. Oh, okay. I have a mess kit. I can make uh, a mess. Sixteen. Uh, guidance. Did you give me guidance? I already did. For the D four. Oh, do I roll it? Or do you? You roll it. No, I do. I was just asking. Yeah, yeah. It is a d4, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to roll that. Another 2, so 18. 18, yeah. I mean, what are you trying to disguise it as? Uh, we'll say we're trying to disguise him as... Your son. Uh, Your son. <laughs> no. <laughs> a little oddly shaped to be my son. Uh, We're going to try to disguise him as just... 
some kind of fancy dog that has this dress over top of it to where you can't really see it. A yeah. four foot tall dog. Yes. The, so this nice. dog. It's not from <laughs> dragon people, and this is the weird thing, a four foot dog. <laughs> it's true. That's where I draw uh, the line. So this massive looking dog, uh as as Ojatai finishes up, you all see this massive looking dog creature sitting there where <laughs> Kenny once was. Whoa. Oh, just hide behind you. There's another bear. Oh, where? Oh, no. I guess you disguised him well. Ganger, that's, that's no bear. That's a good one. <laughs> but, like, like, I'm thinking he's joking, but I think Ganger's being very serious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, I'm down to exit. Oh, so... dude, are y'all worried that woman's going to rat you guys out? Hey, woman? We yeah. saved her life, bro. Y'all gonna check? I'll insider, sure. Yeah, I'll that also... that one incoming. I'll give her Just a kidding. Look. That's a nineteen plus seven. He's That's got a twenty six. Um, she is like been underground for a long time, so she doesn't even fully understand what you guys have been doing or what that is. So yeah, perfect. Kind of I think she's all right. Cool. That's fucking. Can cute. I knock? Can I knock her into a state of amnesia? Oh my gosh. You want to do permanent brain damage to her? No. <laughs> if if it comes to it, just know that I'm able. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, Duly noted. Cool. Uh, you guys leave, or you guys want to go straight to Mr. Kankin's village? I reckon. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Got fun. Kankin's village. She and the son. Leavers, the sun bringers. We didn't bring his son. Sorry, Kink. Yeah, we're more like Chuchi and the sun killers. <laughs> wrong. Well, we didn't really Chuchi, accomplish much of anything. Chuchi and the, the sun manslaughterers. You know, we didn't <laughs> yeah, fully that's, that's it. know what we were doing. Right. Self defense. You guys roll up into the Kankin Gold Bringers. Village. The Gold Bringers return. Are all of these people out at 2 a.m.? Or oh, they're no? not, bro. Okay. They're not. <laughs> okay. They're not. They're in their homes. Just ignore them. They're figments of your imagination. Well, I'm going to walk. Just notice that the town is quiet. Uh, these guards I... are out and about, just kind of okay. roaming around. Can I perceive if there's any sort of danger, if there's a calmness to the area or anything uh, like it that? It seems calm, but as you guys approach, um, they take note of you, but then they realize that you guys are the ones that were here earlier. Yeah, my hands are just up. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the carriage is still parked all the way over there, just kind of chilling. He seems to be napping out there. <laughs> yeah. I'm walking straight Pour over some to the water carriage. up from the well and splash me face. I'm gonna approach the first guard I see and say, "Oi, uh, any any beds available in town?" You're approaching this one. Sure, whichever one That's I see Reese. first. You approach whichever Reese. one I see first. This one, yes. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, are there any beds available? Yep. Uh, uh not that I know of. It's uh, pretty. I mean, there's there's Kankin, Kankin's guest house, but nah. I mean, we've been through here before. I just wasn't sure if it's in use. It, it isn't. Uh, not that I is know it? of. I don't think there's anybody in there. Is this person actually here? Or no. No. Okay. Ignore. Ignore all the civilian-looking people. In okay. fact, mass deletion, extermination. The, oh gosh. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say. All right, thanks. They're getting blipped. And then I'm going to go over snap. here and knock on the door. Cool. Uh, you knock on the door, there's no response. I open the door. You open the door, it's completely empty. All okay. right, bedtime. Fellas. Cool. Uh, I'm roll. just over here checking oh. these crops. A whole lot of people. <laughs> roll roll uh. an investigation check on those crops for me while you're over there. Okay. Um, you see Reese walk in and he just kind of throws himself on the nearest thing that resembles any kind of bed or furniture and just kind of conks out okay. 15 on the crops uh, you realize that they are not using your 
concoction you made for him the first ah, time you were here. Damn. These would be a solid, you know, 20 out of 20 if they really <laughs> use my serum. Uh, no. If Reese passes into the room before Rango walks in, I'm just going to stop him and be like, hey, just so you're aware, I uh, got the impression uh, friend Reese is struggling that uh, poison daggers we picked up. Furniture construction upstairs. Oh, you're good. Uh, those uh, poison daggers we picked up there. They're toying with his mind. Uh, I just got the impression that he's a bit scattered. I think we just need to keep an eye on him. Fair enough. Hopefully get I some imagine. help for him in River March. If he I makes it that far. was close enough. Well, I don't need rest, so I'll stay and watch tonight. Sweet. Alright, I'm going to bed. Long rest. <laughs> Here. Cool. Uh, Stay away he's... from. I'm gonna. Please. Yeah, I'm gonna like. I'm not going in before she goes in. Yeah, the lady just kind of looks at you and is like, "Ah, oh, thank you for returning me home. Ah, uh, I appreciate it." And she walks over back this way and then walks into a house. Okay. Cool. Oh. You, hear, you hear sounds of jubilation as she. De- okay. And she's dead. No, I'm scared. Yeah, she dies of a heart attack. <laughs> so much. All right, then yeah, I'm I'm gonna go in. Cool. Um, so you guys are doing a uh, short rest, long rest, long, long rest. Cool. So you take a, a long rest. Yeah, it'd be about nine, ten, ten o'clock in the morning. Um, so you guys wake up, and it is bright and sunshiny outside. All right. I haven't moved in eight hours. I'm going to come out and just stretch. Cool. Oh, gee. Oh. You walk outside. Oh. Uh, hey. Sir. Hey. Hello. Hey, 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 man, bro. I'm sorry. I'm just still getting used to the fact that you don't lie down. I get I get my oil out and start, like, getting my hinges. I'm, like, creaking a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh... Good morning. Morning. Unusually quiet out, out and about, it seems like. Not everybody's up. It might be kind of like a rest and relax day for most of the, the farmers here or something. Guards still um, out. Yeah, what? Yeah, guards are still out. Do we know what day of the week it is? Uh, We'll say it. We'll, you know what? We'll say it's a Saturday. It's a big day. I didn't. Rem- day. I couldn't remember if it was. Well, right now, Red Kong or I'll declare or it is Saturday. Now we have we know exactly what day we're on. It's Saturday. <laughs> OK, good Early morning, Saturday. Uh, the, You do see rounding the corner. Mr. Kankins. Kank! And he, and he <laughs> clocks eyes. He clocks you guys. Oh, the gold is... bringers have returned. Oh, you have? Uh, how, how was your, your journey into the uh, the under, the underground? Well, uh, not good. Um, it wasn't. Set. I'm going uh, to I'm gonna cut you off at not good. Uh, and I'm going to be like, <laughs> I'm going to be like, it went all right. It went all right. Uh, Oh, I, I see. Did you uh, um, kill many kobolds then? Plenty. Maybe... Killed many of them. Oh, that is fantastic. Uh, I knew you'd be. Yeah. Um, maybe where they were coming from. Like, Well, was it, out of character, was it Kenkins that told us that the tunnels were like expansive through the whole mountain range? No, but he had his, you know, I mean, they just kept coming out of that tunnel. Like yeah. out of that cave. Yeah. Um. Well, we went hundreds of feet deep and cleared out as many as we could before we had to come back up to rest. But as far as I'm aware, we've taken out a good handful of them. We saw more, but honestly, it was more than we could handle. Uh, Reese comes out. Uh, and he still seems to be affected by everything. But after a nice long rest, he actually seems to be improving. Um, I'll just tell you right now, he took, I think it was like 24 psychic damage to put him like, I think it was like negative 10 under. So I was just going to have him be pretty much out of commission and fighting for the rest of that day. Because um, he got obliterated by that dagger. Um, but now, he seems to be recovering a little bit. Still, 
not doing too hot, but he has had a long rest. And and I do a medicine check on him just to make sure he's all right. Yeah. All right, that's an 18. Uh, uh, I guess to put it kind of poetically, he, he bears another physical scar. Um, add it to the many that he received underground. Um, but you also feel like he's got plenty of more mental scars that he can add to his collection. Well, I hope he notices that I'm checking on him the day after. Yeah. Um, instead of attacking him. him. And he, he looks at you. Uh, listen, uh, met, metal m- machine. Gangu. G- Gangu. Uh, I, I know it wasn't your fault. I, I, shouldn't even forgive you it, it was not your fault There's nothing to be sorry for I wasn't I wasn't created for destruction well hostile destruction but definitely not friendly destruction but I don't know what I'm trying to say but I you know you know I'm better than this you know you know that I don't just hurt my friends right I, uh, I guess I can take your word for it. But seems pretty protective of the big man over there. And he looks that, back over at Sersha. That being said, you touch Kenny, you're a dead man. <laughs> Understood. Uh, as Gangu uh, walks out from un- under uh, or in front of him, uh, Kankins notices Reese standing there. Uh, and he seems to, his eyes kind of light up. And Kankin walks over. Reese, ah, uh, it's been, it's been years. Ah, uh, any word, or, any news on my son at the wall? Um. Reese walks up to him. Oh, ah, uh, he, he's doing. It's nice to see you, Mister Kenkins. I, you know, honestly, I was so clouded yesterday. I didn't realize we walked back into Cambridgeville. But uh, yeah, your son's doing fine. He was made a lieutenant a few months back. He's got his own platoon. He manages there now. He's doing just fine. Um, and then he kind of looks over at Rango's shoulder, like looks over his shoulder at Rango. Uh, he was aware of what happened yesterday and kind of, or last night and kind of who was killed. Um, but he's not that dumb, so he doesn't say anything. Um, you know, I just, uh, I was on leave and these boys hired me out. So I figured I'd make some extra coin. Oh, well. Reese, yeah. That's typically like you. Any any chance you can to make extra coin. Well, uh, it's good to see you. Um, Just a moment. Uh, Kankins sprints into his house, and he comes back out with, uh, looks like leftovers of some kind. And he gives him, he says, uh, if you're headed back to the wall soon, um, you can have some, but we save some for, for my son. Uh, sh- sure thing, Mr. Kankins. Uh, I will. And he takes it and kind of he he looks around at himself. He he realizes he doesn't have any kind of backpack or anything on. He's basically still in the rags that he was in. Um, and he just kind of like holds on to it. Um, uh, Miss, Mr. Kankins, you wouldn't happen to have a bag or or anything? I, I don't believe we do. Um, maybe we have a, some sort of rucksack we can scrounge up. Um, I'll, I'll go look and see. Um, if you guys go before um, I talk to you again, just you know I. Good luck with your 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 further ventures, and once again, thanks for the gold and all the help you brought <laughs> here. And he, and he runs back into his home, uh, and is in there now. Out of character, d- does he have one or two sons? He has two. I, I said that from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So w- I'm sorry. W- was it implied that that was? The older son that went to the wall, or the son that got lost. That was the, in the one cave? that got kid. That was the one that got kidnapped. Right, like like years ago. Okay, okay. I just was trying the to interpret. One eventually went to the wall. Yeah, yeah. I was pretty just... much after that event. He kind of just shut himself off from everybody and kind of was like, "I need to get away from this area." Yeah, yeah. I get was trying to. I trauma. was trying to interpret what Reese was like, kind of. Yeah, know. Reese knew that you guys basically finished off. Kankin's sons. He kind of he kind of knew that was the other Kankin's boy. Uh, was he not? Sure that... Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
because no, you no. woke him up. He went over to sit in the corner. And you guys started discovering what was going on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, he might not know that you guys killed him because he was still unconscious at that point. Yeah. But he does know that he he was there dead. I'm gonna approach yeah, Reese, and uh, I'm gonna be like, "Well, Reese, we've got uh, we've got things to tend to in Rivermatch. If you're trying to head there." Tag along on the. You got a caravan heading that way. Honestly, that that sounds pretty nice. That was where I was supposed to go, anyways. Eventually, before my leave, until I got dragged off by these bloody lizard folk. Bloody lizard folk. Fair uh, enough. Perhaps. Do, do you have a ride? A ride? Yeah. I mentioned the caravan. Ah. Well. You mind if I tag along? By all means. I suppose, right. um, is there room? Yeah, oh yeah, there's plenty of room. Plenty of room. Cool. Uh, he nods in, agree like, a compliance agreement. And he's like, okay, let's do it. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go ahead and move towards the, ra the wagon. And, like, you know, get settled in, I guess. Yep. Uh, cool. Before I leave, house i'm just checking to make sure kenny's disguise is still decent uh yeah he, he seemed to be fiddling with it or kind of tugging at it but um he kind of gave up he, uh, it was it was done really well so it's hard for him to get to it and like undo it so he's kind of accepted the fact that he's now this dog creature well he's got this <laughs> thing all over him i am now dog i'm now dog um <laughs> you get a few kind of like looks like what is that um but nothing too crazy all right the uh any kind of character development or conversations any of you had before you guys arrive in river march uh no about some kind of journal off of that mage in the room we found kenny in uh and i know you gave me some just general quick notes from it i right. was able to come through uh, I was planning on just reading through it, see if I can get any more information out of it. Uh, cool. Uh, as you uh, ride along, um, you read more and more. Basically, they were planning on taking uh, what you now know as Kinney, or call Kinney. Um, uh, they gave it the name of Kinder Zergzoid. Um, they were basically planning on using this thing as, as kind of like a, a weapon of mass destruction. Um They've been working in uh, other areas to uh, summon, like, beasts and, and get other dragons. Um, but this was, like, the easiest one they were able to get uh, actually alive and, and breathing. Um, it was, like, kind of, like, in a dormant state. And uh, it was, like, an egg that was, like, dormant. And they were, they were able to get it going no more than, like, a month ago. So this thing is really young. Um... And basically, they had planned on raising it and using magic to kind of accelerate its growth process and use it as a weapon of mass destruction. Um, you also see uh, a whole bunch of stuff about River March. Um, and basically, it says that the Kenny would not be ready for the assault on River March. Yeah. Uh, and in the trying to find other dragons or other beings, he said this one is the only one so far that has been successful, right? Right. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, through the... Go ahead. No, you're good. Yeah, I was going to let you finish up. I was just going to note that however long it takes, I'd just like to spend those hours reading the Tome of Understanding. Cool. Uh, I think we said last time it was like four hours to get back so okay. that's four hours knocked off of that total 44 to go heck yeah all right uh, and i was just gonna say i'm gonna relay all that other information i got out of the journal to everybody else right so that is common knowledge everything that was just told to uh ojitai so hey safe to assume that they don't have any more baby dragons on their hands not at the moment but looks like they're trying to get as many as they can it'd be
be it. The whole ride, I'd have fucking Chuchi in the sky, high in the sky. Cool. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't say anything of note. Um, he informs you when you are closing in on a uh, river march. You guys go over the bridge where you fought the uh, the giant croc slash alligator thing. Um, and you guys arrive back at uh, the uh, cart company that you guys uh, bought the ride from. I know. Uh, so, a quick note for me: have you have you guys paid for for it all? Yeah, have I don't think I. Payment? We paid, paid ahead. ahead of time. Yeah. We paid ahead, and it was okay. super cheap, so I just paid myself. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, you guys are back, back in River March. So I want to. We just to have add... a fucking dragon in the city. <laughs> Fine. It's, it's a dog. It's a fancy dog. It's oh, oh, I love to it. To be fair, uh, Chuchi also has like some clothes on, so yeah, you know, we can always play it off like we just it's a normal thing for our pets. That's all. so. So I also want to add like. Um... While I was sitting on the cart with uh, Reese, uh, his name's Reese, right? Yep. Like while I was sitting on the cart with Reese, like I was thinking about how out of my control I am such a dangerous being. The robots are very oh. dangerous. Um, so while they're talking about the dangers of dragons, subconsciously I'm thinking about the dangers of more of me that don't have conscious control. Gotcha. And that arc in my brain at the moment. All right. Gangu is uh, suffering mentally, just like Reese. Figuring it out. Yeah. Um, so you guys pull in and start to dismount. Uh, the guy looks, the guy that's, that drove you all looks very tired and sore because he literally slept on that cart with little sleep he can get. So he is... Uh, He's done with this shift. He's he's just gonna he's gonna dip. He's like, uh, see you guys later. I'm out. Bye. Appreciate Mr. the ride. Man. Hope you find your dad. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> he's gone. Uh, Reese kind of looks at you guys. I'm uh, well, to keep it quite frank with you guys, I'm I'm gonna go do what I was originally planning on doing here and go get shit face drunk somewhere. So. I'll probably be near a tavern of some kind or in an alleyway or I don't know, but I'll be around. If he like, if he, if he like turns around to start walking off, I want to try and like catch him on the shoulder. Okay. Like, Go, yeah. like lightly. And, yeah. uh, as he turns around, uh, I want to say this in a manner that like other people wouldn't quite be able to, you know, hear, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to say, Kenny, you gonna mention mention Kenny to anyone? For one, I gave the dwarf my word. I would not say anything. I wouldn't do anything to him. Secondly, you guys pulled me out of a hopeless situation and got me back to Rivermarch, where I'm more than welcome to get shit faced drunk. He throws down the longsword that he he got in that place. Um, still in tattered rags, covered in blood, all kind of. He, he, this dude looks like he just got done committing a homicide. Um, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna get so drunk, I forget everything that's ever happened to me, ever. Okay. <laughs> Do I need to insight check that at all? Sure, go for it if you want to. I'll do it as well. I am also doing got a it. It's twelve a group insight. I also uh, got a twelve. Twenty-one. You can tell that. Twenty-one. Uh, He's not serious about getting drunk. He forgets everything, but he's not hes not going to say anything. He's just going to go get plastered for a little bit, chill around River March, and then head back to his post, probably. Okay. Cool. And then I'm, I'm just oh. going to move my hand from his shoulder to just pat him on, like, his arm. I'm, yeah. I'm going to say, sounds good, Reese. You take yeah, it easy. He, he just kind of nods at you and then walks, walks along this way. Until next time. See you later. Well, lads, T minus eight or so hours. 
that you don't suppose me. you don't suppose there's anywhere I can drop off these fire salts, do you? Perhaps we should find a new inn. Uh, I don't know if a uh, crowded space is a good idea with uh, me here. Keep them on us. I am essentially just one big bomb. Nothing. Uh, no one's con concerned about my safety. Uh, <laughs> You're. You haven't. This is the first well, time you've been concerned about your safety. Also, your camera's like fucked up. I suppose we uh, move on. Lucas, hello. He's a still image. Lucas. He's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just move on. Gangu is oh, shit now, man. God. He's been a loading symbol for me for the last five, ten minutes. He's just still for us. Oh. Huh. Well, obviously, he's keen to finding a nice end to dub the fire salt. Yeah. <laughs> So, do we go back to Katie's Inn? Yeah, I'm good with that. Well, I mean, if we're dumping the goods, then... You know what happened last time that we did that there? Are we going with lightning never strikes twice in the same place? If we do, then, uh... I just have another Tony Noballs situation on. Hey, fair enough. And then I'm gonna start walking towards Katie's. Hand. All right. <laughs> you guys. Uh, so, you guys get to this corner. You guys are headed this way, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You get to this corner. You see two of the uh, like guards that are hired in by uh, Valerie are kind of sitting there. There he goes. Yeah, he'll be back hopefully. Uh, are just kind of chilling there, and they see you all approaching. Uh, this one walks forward towards you, guy. You you can see they have like cloth mask wrapped around their face and their nose, and their mouth. Um, hold right there. I'm sorry, but I can't let anyone go this this way. It's not safe. Sorry, what? I'm 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 trying to like sort out this. Okay. Yeah. We can take a pause for a second until. Uh, Lucas gets back. Just left for roll 22. Yeah. His, his internet might have just pooped out. That's unfortunate. Uh, we can have general game discussion time. Yeah. Uh, I will note while we're walking around, I'm going to try to feel a little bit away from everybody uh, with Kenny, just as low profile as possible. I gotcha. Lucas returned. Angu just rebooted in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> You're still a loading symbol for me on Discord. Uh, I can, I can see am him. I loading? Okay. Yeah, I can see him. And he looks fine. And yeah, it is what it is. He is what it is. Am I frozen or anything? Everything no, clear? You're, You're good. What it is. Cool, cool, cool. All right, um, let's do it. So Valerie Yards? Yeah, uh, this one walks up and approaches you. And goes, stop, you violated the law. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, he has, a, he has a, a, a cloth mask over his nose. And then, and, I point at his, and then I point down at his legs and I say, is that an arrow in your knee? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? So is that an arrow oh. in your knee? No. All right, just making sure. Do you like sweet rolls? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they, are, they are pretty good. <laughs> well, yeah, nice. what's what's going on? Why is this way blocked? Yeah, just stop distracting me. <laughs> um, listen, I can't let you any further. There's, listen, it's not safe. Uh, this disease is is rampant, and we're trying to quarantine this side. I, I can't let you back across. Um, in, in I am immune to years. disease. Um, uh, and, just... he, and he eyes you up and like walks forward towards you and puts his hand like on your metal chest and goes. I'm sorry, my fr I don't know what you are, but 
I, I cannot allow you. I'm putting my um, hand on his shoulder as well. Under, under, under orders? On Gengu's shoulder? Yeah. And okay. I, I say, Gengu. Do you turn around when I say Gengu? Like, to face me? I thought he froze again. Yes, right, go. Okay. We aren't. <laughs> Yeah. Your, your friends are not. I'm immune to disease. Gingu, Gingu, Gingu. Listen, maybe we should. Uh, sorry, yeah. sorry about my friend. Marcus, please come over here. And then this guy walks over. He goes, "All right, what's what's the problem, fellas? What, what? Oh, no ter problem. Terribly sorry. No problem. Terribly sorry, Gingu. But we need to go somewhere else. The rest of us, we can't just get get in there like you. You know. Well, we're all susceptible to. This disease. There's an old All right. Old, Until old, next time, guys. It's, it's for your own good. Uh, Can you suggest been, an inn in this direction? Um, I'm sure that uh, the traders would be more than happy to to bunk you. Um, but I'm sorry. You, you know, we're trying to quarantine this section off as best we could. Uh, the city is in a bit of a spot of distress at the moment. Um, the local guard. Half of them are sickly as well. It's chaos. You, Crime is rampant. And druggies. You do we, know the root cause of all this, don't you? Uh, this disease that is spreading. It's it's caused great chaos. Um, but we've been These fortunate over ignorant. here. Thank you for your time. I'm going to flip him a gold, gold <laughs> coin. And then uh, mm -hmm. turning this way. And he kind of... He flipped the gold coin, he catches it, yeah. and he kind of looks at his partner and kind of like sarcastically kind of gawks at it, like, oh, never seen one of these before. And he like opens up a coin burst that's real jingly and throws it in there and tucks it behind. That's fun. And then I'm going to turn this way. Would you? Were you guys like, you said you were hanging back, so I'm going to say, fellas, we're going to have to see about bunking up. With either the traders or possibly the uh, fuck, it's been so long. Uh, Barbaros or the fucking uh, Gatusos. Gatusos, yeah. Barbaros or Gatusos. Just Chuchi. And then I'm going to telepathically say, Chuchi, keep your eyes out for any gang members. And then. Hey, let's make our way downtown. Cool. Uh, you notice that uh, there, there are like small bands of crowds, but they also too, like they, they're dressed kind of fine in clothes and they have masks on over their faces, uh, mouth and nose. Is that um, part of a mandate? Oh, we're real. Uh, it's not really a <laughs> mandate as much as just general caution. All right. Guys. I, I think we should we should there visit we where we found that green fungus. We need to make sure that they didn't kickstart their operation again. Uh are, are you are you referring right. to the the uh, where, beneath the, the school? Downstairs beneath the school, yeah. Where they were mixing it with fire salts. We do need to Head back to Fuck. the school. How do we? Eventually. Yeah, eventually we'll need to get there. But what I'm trying to remember which direction. You guys are hella was. lagging for me. I can't hear or see anything. Um, the school was in that direction where you guys met those guards. F. Well, could we just? Are there walls around the city? Uh, there's like other entranceways. Fuck, we just run into guards over at that insurance way, too. I mean, we have rapport with, uh... Here's the thing. Not necessarily guards of Valerie. Yeah, sure. the the guards we talked to? Yeah, it wouldn't be those guards. It'd be city, city guards. Yeah, yeah, I about to say, we have rapport with the, the sergeant guy. What was his name? Uh, Griff. Griff. We can ask for Griff, and maybe Griff could give us an escort to the college. 
enough. We could Even probably if... stay at the college, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be the best idea. Might even be able to find a spot to hide Kenny while all this is happening. True, yeah. I mean, do we trust anyone with know... the knowledge of Kenny? Well, uh, yeah, fuck. Who is the headmaster there? Zerilomir. Zerilomir. Uh, Zerilomir oh. knows the situation with the fire salts and some kind of, you know, involvement with the uh, kobolds. And if we can trust him with that information, then I think we might be able to trust him with any, even just for a night. I think maybe that... they'll have something that, you know, maybe they have like a room we can Maybe we can put him in a secure in Angie's old room. <laughs> He'll be able to tell the difference. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that I think we can trust Zerilamir. We'll get a we'll get a fill for him, <laughs> Diamond. <laughs> I'm sure that that's how fucking uh, Penny's acting right now too. Um, all right, oh, let's uh. Yeah. This let's, is my light. Let's do it then, boys. All right, yeah. Let's go talk to the god. Is that Kenny? Town. Yes, this is what Kenny is sounding like. He's doing his best dog impressions. <laughs> All right, where are you guys headed? Around town. Cool. Um, so you do a big loop all the way towards the entrance of the town. I'll grab all you guys. Yes, restroom. Do, 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 do. Mm, I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? Kenny? No, I'm not. I'm not missing. Some... No, I got everybody. I'm used to Hell Winter. There's five. Uh, is Lucas able to hear? What's going he's on? Not <laughs> in the call, no. So he might have to take another short little pause. No, he, he said he's figuring it out, but. Hey! Hey! Ah. <sighs> Alright. Dude, you're in the suburbs. It's not like you moved out to fucking rural. I know. BFA. So. <laughs> We just had Xfinity come and activate the Ethernet ports upstairs so that we can move the router. Yeah. And the guy on the phone mentioned that if you keep all of your lines open, like it'll create static and slow down everything. And I have a feeling the technician just opened all three Ethernets. Oh. Or all, th all three coaxial ports. Yeah. And they're just all open, causing haywire. Because it wasn't like this before he came at all. Yeah. And now it's just like very blatantly like dropping out after you get like four devices on it i'm i have had such bad like bad experiences with uh internet technicians yeah he was real ticked off because he had to crawl underneath my house to like get to the internet splitter he's gonna have to come do it again yeah or send somebody else Hopefully it doesn't drop out again. I've taken a bunch of devices off of it. We uh we've we've walked around the city to the entrance closest to the school. Interesting. All right. Um and so the entrance to the school was literally like the main entrance into the city. So you're basically back like at the front where you first originally came through. If you know what I'm talking about. By the market? Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To the left of the market. Oh, wait. So we'll tour, have right? to go in there and then go over to. Okay. Yeah, I, it I thought it was like down. a straight shot south. Yeah. Yeah. It's just straight south, yeah. Okay. Um, but you guys arrive in here and you see that the this like market area is completely barren except for guards kind of scattered throughout. There wasn't even any at the gate. Um, 
you see Griff kind of walk. He catches you guys. Um, he has a mask over his like nose and mouth as well as most of the guards. We did discuss with Griff that it was that the fire salts were poisoned, right? Was he one of the guys that we disclosed that information to? Uh, I think you guys told him, I believe, but he still has yeah this mask and stuff over his over his mouth. Um, he sees you guys walk in. Oh, where have you guys been at? It's been quite some time. I had to go take care of some business in Cabbageville. All right, well, things have turned into real shit down here. Yeah, got that Half impression. It's gone. Yeah, that assignment I put you on, that's all on the back burner. Been no activity as far as I know, except for crime. People How's uh... Run up and take everything. And... It's not looking very good. People are dying every day, getting sick. Get any, uh, any eyes on, fuck, what's his name? I'm looking for his name. It's been a minute. I can help Pesci, you out. Pesci, you... Pesci, a Pesci, a Pesci? A living Pesci? Yeah. Joe Pesci. Uh, Joe Pesci? It's Joe? Okay, any, uh, any eyes on Joe? I can't even spare them in. You gotta post it up on different corners the mayor is totally hermited up he's got most of his guards back at his place it's a mess mm. to be honest with you I can't even tell you who's really in charge anymore fuck also out of character did we inform him of the no we didn't inform him of the ambush right no no okay um yeah, it appears to be in a ter terrible spot. Uh, love to say that we can help, but we've got some business to tend to. So is there any way that you can provide escort to the school? Me? Not really. I'm trying to keep this market. Every people well, run up to the, the stands and grab things and run off with them. They run into shops and old people. Of course. Sorry. Okay. Are we going to run into guards on the way to the school? Trying to prevent us from going there? Maybe. If they're post. Uh, Can you... It's pretty anarchic. You know, it's not that real, well re regulated. Can you give us anything with the town guard insignia? Something that we could reference you and pass? Uh, I mean, sure. I mean, kind of like... <laughs> he straight up just like rips off a patch on his shoulder and like hands it to you. He's like... This? Sure. I'll give it a shot. Right, I'll go up and that. take it. It's a cool dog. What kind of dog is that? A <laughs> uh, rare Same. breed from my homeland. You probably haven't heard of it. Yeah, it's Ma a big dog. Ever been Name's to Old Condi? <laughs> uh, no, I've been in River March my whole life. Right now, well, it's crazy the things you'll see in Old Condi. And then I'm going to start walking off. Yeah, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm as trying soon to... as he mentioned it, put distance with me and him. All right. And did did you say uh, south? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you guys will pass by Katie's Inn and stuff. Do you want to go there, or just straight to the school? Ah, uh, fuck it, straight to the school. Yeah, straight to the school. Cool. Uh, as you guys pass by the inn, um, in their the little uh, church that is in there as well right next to it you see that if you remember last time there was like a bunch of uh like tents and like people kind of sick yeah. on the on the street um that has become like multiplied by like three and now there's like piles of corpses kind of lining like the the like the sidewalks um in the gutters of the street um it's looking pretty nasty no uh, it looks like the dorms of the college as you go underneath the, like the underpass of them, they look pretty closed off, uh, and you don't see any any partying, you don't see any dancing lights or anything going on there. It looks pretty dormant. Damn. Um, so you guys approach. 
Any new uh, fire hand incidents? <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Glad they got that under control. Sorry, I'm getting something ready. I thought I was frozen, but everyone is being completely still right now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... Uh... Doing our best Gingu at night impressions. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta delete the... You guys. On the, uh, the map, I had to find you guys and do some other things. Alright. You guys make yourself uh, your way to the college. Um, and you don't see anybody except for the one bigger guy that you guys remember was the one that was talking about the uh the fire that the the dancing lights and the fire hands back of the dorms and he sees you guys oh hey uh hello um don't don't come any closer i don't want to catch anything um i'm glad to see you guys are okay you, it's sir? okay I'm immune to disease, but thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you want to see me dancing lights? We're, we're in a hurry, bud. Okay. Be safe. All right. My friend. Uh, we are looking for High Master Zerilamir. Yes, you are. There he is. No. Yes. He's upstairs, right? Oh, that's him. That's him. I'd right? recognize that bitch of a face anywhere. He doesn't like Sorry to fight. Me. <laughs> Hello. Uh, did you discover whatever you were off to discover in Cabbageville? We discovered quite a bit more than we uh, intended to discover in mm. Cabbageville. I see. Well, uh, things have taken a turn for the worst. Well, it would seem. We've had to pretty much uh, cancel most classes. Um... It's not been, it's not been good. And uh, out of character, he know, he's he he understands that the kobolds were involved, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he's pretty aware. Like he doesn't have a, a mask on or anything. He he was there. He witnessed it all down down in the basement. I guess we can tell him that we confirmed that they were m not mining, but gathering the horses. The well, that that, but yeah, the fang room, the fang, oh, the fang room, 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 yeah. Room. Um, Zerilamo, before we uh continue, could we go somewhere private? Uh, yes, we could. Uh, if you follow me, we can go up to my quarters, perhaps this way. All right, any lead you upstairs? I'm assuming everyone will follow. Yep. You guys make your way into Mr. Zerilamir's private quarters. Yes. Feel free to uh, make yourself at home. Yeah, takes a Walk seat down on the, on the couch. Oh, okay, okay. No, I mean, it's... it's it's enough for both of you. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. We're getting cozy. Heck yeah. I'm not gonna quite sit down. I'll, uh... I'll be standing up and I'm gonna go. So, we found a few things down in the cabins. Mm. Um, first and foremost, uh, there are a lot of kobolds in those caves. Um... While we were down there, we determined that the green fang root was being harvested out of those caves. And I'm assuming brought here to the Markovs to then put in the fire salts. I um, see. Um, if I say, uh, how many kobolds are we are we talking about here? Well, I'd say that we went through 
tens of them. Uh, damn near. I'm <laughs> damn near a hundred. Um, are you trying to say you killed a hundred? Damn near. <laughs> Roll a deception check. On <laughs> oh no. Our our Tony Noble's reputation is on the line. Fourteen. Cole. Fourteen. I think you're exaggerating a little bit, but. All right. All right. To be fair. You did kill Tony Tony Balls. Uh, <laughs> he's come to be known around the streets. Tony No, Tony no Balls. Listen, we took <laughs> we took care of dozens. Easily do easily do easily dozens. Let's put it that way. About about fourteen. <laughs> that that may be that may be undershooting a bit. It, it doesn't matter. Point is <laughs> that yes, we took care of quite a few, and. Unfortunately, by the end of things, we saw that there are many, many more than we could handle on our own. Oh, like a few, like hundred, few hundred, thousands. And his eyes kind of get wide. Uh, thousands. Um. Uh, like, not not exaggerating, like your kill count. Really, a thousand and more. Unfortunately, I am not exaggerating on this one. Okay, and do we believe they are coming here? Who's to say where they're going? Based on some information that we found in journals and whatnot, uh, I'd say they're after anyone that doesn't have scales for skin. Oh, I see. Um, well, your friend over there should be fine. Oh, that is a cool dog. <laughs> what breed is it? And then as he says that, I'm placing my hand on his shoulder and looking towards Ojutai. Are you saying anything or are you just looking at me? I'm looking at you like with a grin like, huh? Uh, we, uh, we picked this one up. On our way uh, back here to Rivermark. Oh, I see. That is a. a you, you dress it nicely. Uh, he kind of leans back in his seat again. Can oh. I like get a? Can I get a glance at like Sersh? And like determine what he thinks about the like about Ojatai like trying to pass him off as a dog to Zerilamir. Uh, like for me to roll an insight? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Like, what's 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 Sersh's facial expression like whenever Ojatai plays him off as a dog? Still, I believe it 100. <laughs> <laughs> percent no, Okay, is then so out of good then it's even Sersha. Then out of character, um, we've I thought we we're gonna tell Zerilamir that this is a dragon, right? I what? I who are we going to leave with? No one has responded to that. <laughs> that was my whole idea. That's what I was going uh, off of. Well, all right, uh, I'm going to do you one better. In the game, uh, I'm going to use the spies murmur and telepathically speak to Dengu and Sersha, who have the other two. Uh, uh, mine isn't a tune, so would it work? You could have okay, a tune. You could speak to Sersha. I did stand there for eight hours straight. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we've had plenty of time to. <laughs> if you want to it tune, it, my mind. You tune it, it slipped my mind this time, but next time I'll get it. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll speak to both of them, and then only Sersha hears it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I just imagine them putting on earmuffs. Like, <laughs> you think it's a good idea, Sersha, to try to leave Kenny here? Uh, I'll talk about this back. Um, well, he hired a dragonborn to teach you. It's not oh. like he. We should be worried about a, a bad reaction or anything. But it's it's. To me, it's more about once it's out, it's out. You know, once everyone knows that we have a bloody dragon in our possession 
who knows what that where that information could carry. I just don't know if we can fully trust him yet like that. I just like to say that in the time that they're having that conversation, I want to keep Zerilamir busy with. Okay, because I was about to say Zerilamir was going to say. Yeah, no, I'm going to really quiet. Just bullshit uh-huh. about kobolds with him. Oh yes, uh, um, thousands usually. No uh, kobolds, yes, of scales. <laughs> Continue. Oh, kobold. Um, the the only the only people as of right now that I trust with the care or the knowledge of Kenny is your kin. At the at the, the temple, but I, I don't know. Is there some questions we could ask? A questionnaire? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, Zarela, yeah. what is your knowledge of dragons? Um. Well, uh, you know, hundreds, thousands of years ago, they they were around, but. Uh, along with the kobolds, most of them were pushed out. Um, I do I have my suspicions locally that there may be some around. Um, are the stories true? Are all they are, are destructive beings? Is that why they um, were wiped out? Personally, I I believe uh, being evil can only be learned unless you are a true spawn of demonic origin, but... Um, I try to keep an open mind. Can I insight check that? Sure. And would anyone else like to also I insight check that? I am piggybacking that. Yeah. Oh, I got a nat 20. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's an educated man. Um, he, like, helped found the school, open the school. He, he cares about people and things and the good of the, the world. He feels pretty... I feel like he could... He, he, what he said was truth. Okay, right. well, in that case, I'm gonna, uh, I'll, like, say, huh, is that so? And kind of, like, take a moment to think, but in my other hand, I'm gonna melt the coin, message Ojitai, and say, this guy's trustworthy. And do you need me to roll persuasion, or are you gonna take that at face? Uh, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Uh, I'll kind of step forward with Kenny. Like, oh, right, here. Uh, I'm gonna get up. <laughs> are these doors shut? Yeah, uh, you can be. Yes. You can be. Uh, I'm gonna shut uh, one. Yeah. Uh, Dengu, can you, uh... Shut uh, that other door there? Oh, thank you. Thanks. Uh, so, Zerilmir, we... I do have something I need to tell you with, uh... This dog here. Yes. Uh, Please with your rabies. We're trying to be utmost very cautious uh, of this, and I, I yeah, hope to tell you this in complete confidence. If it has rabies, uh, I do have cure disease. It is not a problem. I can. <laughs> no, no, he uh, he doesn't have rabies, but and I'm just gonna take the cloak back off of top of his head. Oh, so yeah, you take the disguise off. Yeah, it isn't exactly a dog. Okay. Uh, just just for reference, because in my mind, if you, if you just told him, like, this is a dragon, he was going to be like, no, that is a dog, are you? <laughs> Since you took the, the cloak off. Um, he, like, stands up and he starts walking over. My God, where have you found this? This That's is r- immaculate. <laughs> he, like, ho- starts to hold his hand out to it, and you can tell Kenny is looking real interested in that hand. Yeah. Is it really me? Maybe be a bit easy. Oh, it's uh, it's it's beautiful. And it bites out at his hand, uh, but he's able to pull it away. Oh my! Well, it is a dragon. I should have. He's... Where? Where? And he just kind of looks at each of you like, where have you found this? Where? From what we uh, have been able to gather, only maybe a month old. Uh... But the kobolds had to somehow hatch him or trying to use him as kind of engine of war. I see. Um, well, that would have not been good. Um, it is my assumption anyways that uh, bronze dragons are typically uh, good in nature. So that would have been most, most sad for this, this little one. 
It is, man. It is, uh, Alsvigar, but it is currently our intention to uh, hand the baby boy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, hand the little one over to Ojatai's kin back in his homeland where they could raise him in a more proper setting. I see. Um, how do you plan on doing that? I'll just gesture to Rango. Well, uh, I'm going to have to get word out to my company, and they should be able to transport him uh, without, without an issue. But we do face a problem currently in that we have some business that we need to tend to, and obviously a baby dragon isn't quite well suited for the kind of business that we've been getting t into as of recent. Zerilamir, can we trust you to look after him for, at the very least, tonight? You see his eyes light up. He has a big grin on his face. You want me to watch your dragon? <laughs> uh, yes, I, I would be more than welcome. I, I... Does it... What does it eat? Uh, Flesh. So far, <laughs> Humans. without any so meat that we've given to it. Um, well... Uh, can I pull out some beans? <laughs> <laughs> beans? Uh, can, can I pull out... No, I'm saying, can I pull out some beans, Ryan? Oh, sure. Do you want to? Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. you pull out some beans. I said, and as I pull them out, I say, well, all we've really fed him is, well, meat. But, uh, mm, and I'm going to... I don't have any meat around. I'm going to walk over oh. here, and uh, I'm going to say, Kenny, Kenny. And then I'm going to have Chuchi kind of, you know, yeah, like bark out at him, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it looks back at you guys and his kind of head turns to the side like a dog. <laughs> Wait, I didn't hear any of the last 30 seconds. Are we feeding this thing beans? <laughs> We're going to attempt to. I'm going to flick gonna him a bean. All right, you flick the bean out. One and bean. It shoots out its, it, like its, its tongue and it catches it down and then it, it swallows it. And then for a second, it's kind of sits there and it's like just pondering the taste of it. And it just kind of looks at you and it's just kind of like, and he tells his mouth <laughs> All right, then uh, at that point, I'm going to is there any does it look like there's anything around here that I could like pour the beans in? Uh, you could ask, you could ask if there's a Zerilla me. Do you have a bowl around? Um, oh, you know what? Uh, I think Kenji might have had one and he won't be needing it anymore. <laughs> he opens the door. And he <laughs> He runs so nonchalant about it. Yeah, I got it. get that door. Yeah. And then I'm gonna flick him another bean. Cool. Bean. He comes running back. Um, and he and he sets down a bowl, and it's like a really nice like <laughs> like, like fine china. Nice yeah, it's fine china. <laughs> I dump the beans out in the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> and then I kind of I kind of tap boy. it and say, Kenny. Uh, and he starts, like, he waddles over to it, and then he starts going to town on the beans, man. <laughs> well, meat and beans, those are confirmed. Oh, well, um, I, I might be able to find some more beans, perhaps. <laughs> well, I also think we've demonstrated that you could try other things. I oh, don't think too... he's, I don't think he's too picky. I, I understand. Well, um. But for sure, I, I can watch your dragon. Now, Zerilami, it's important that you keep close eye and don't let word get out that you're watching a dragon. Oh, <laughs> yes, I, 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 I'm I aware. I, I can... I'll, uh... I'll insight. Do... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All the insight. Seven. <laughs> Gengu, you Great. think that... You think that he might parade around this crocodile uh, <laughs> did you get ojisai i thought it was a dog 14 20 no they took the disguise off as a crocodile now 
Oh, okay. Only the hood. Only the hood. So that we don't have to redo the disguise. Right, boys? Right? Sure. Oh, okay. This is a new type of beast. Half dog, <laughs> half crocodile. Nice. <laughs> Uh, nice. You feel like you feel like he's going to uh, try his best to keep Kenny hidden. Who feels that way? Try his best. Oh, yeah. He had a best. fourteen. What did you Do I, I know a... anything about his best? I got a twenty. Yeah, you think that you think there that you he's going to try his best as well. Um, but you've seen Zerilimir. He's not the most confrontational type. So take that as you will. Is there, is there a door here? It's like an open space. Fuck. It's like it's like a it's like a stairway going up. It's like it is, yeah, like and like this is out. this is like a railing. It's just kind of like a. Uh, it's not yeah, really like uh, a loft, but it's like a, like a, elevated level. Gotcha. Yeah. Two steps. Yeah, two steps. And there's windows kind of looking out, but you are on the third floor of this college, like the highest level. Um, okay, well, as he says that, I guess I'm going to turn to the rest of the guys after we've all, you know, read the guy. I won't. If it makes you feel better, I won't leave my room. Um, I can tell everyone that I took sick with the... No, that that will raise eyebrows. I <laughs> There is people dying and they think it's a disease. Um, Perhaps just say you're studying for a cure and you need intense focus. That is a great... I, I, I shall. That is wonderful. <laughs> You are a scholar and a genius, my friend. And he like puts his hands on your shoulders and gives you like a nice little. And as he puts his hands on my shoulders, I'm gonna put my hand up on his shoulder and I'm gonna say, "And there's few of us left." <laughs> you, you are most certainly correct. Um, what is its name? Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> We've been calling him Kenny. The the baby bronze dragon, Kenny. That is terrific. Of I, that is a great name. I love Kinney. <laughs> um. Uh, d is it uh? Has it has it had its shots? Uh, I kind have... of. I'm merely joking, my friend. I, it is a dragon. What do you take me for? Oh my God. Zerilla man. Where? Yes. Fuck, what was the guy's name? L L L L Lanius. Yeah. Lanius. Z Zrilamir. Where is Lanius? Um, perhaps in his study. Well, in the library. Um, next to, uh, Mr. Baumgartlinger. All right, noted. Uh, yeah, we, we need to, uh, we need to handle some business with him. What time is it currently, Ryan? Uh, it's like midday, two o'clock. Two o'clock? Okay, so we've got like six hours. Um... No, uh, he told us to meet him at ten. Was it? Not a while. Yeah, it okay. was like you, you okay, eight, eight, hours. Like eight hours. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then um, I'm gonna say, or Azurilimia, fellas, is there anything that you believe we need to get done in the meantime? Uh, I would like to read. <laughs> I would yeah. like to unload my chest. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Gingu a funny look, but like, I get it. Um, and then I'm gonna look to Lanius and say, L Lanius, do you care if we it's bunk up? I'm not Lanius. Apologies, apologies, apologies. It's real <laughs> me. Do you mind if we bunk up? In Kinji's old room. Uh, sure. He won't be needing it anymore. Right out. <laughs> well, there is we... only one bed. It is a large bed. <laughs> I don't uh, need a bed. Luckily, two of us don't need a bed, and these two, I'm sure they wouldn't mind to cuddle up a bit. Are you uh, hmm. leaving Kinji with me now? Well, we intend to hang around the college for uh, the evening um, before we meet with Lanius. Uh, Later in the night. Um, but in the meantime, I'm sure that we'll be in and out to see how Kenny's doing. Okay. I... We'll be around the college. Um, and he, I guess he, he kind of like looks at Ojitai, who I'm guessing is still holding onto the rope leash that you've made for him. 
And Where's yeah, his chew toy? Uh, I would have picked it up. He would have been chewing on it on the way, but you know, on the cart here <laughs> and whatnot. Yeah. So he's not leashed? Uh, yeah, once he started to go to town on the beans, I would have unleashed him. Okay, cool. Uh, Kenny just kind of is like wandering around this this apartment, uh, and he runs over to the couch and he starts chewing on it. Uh, no, Kenny, that is that is not no that you don't chew on the furniture. God, that <laughs> cost me. That was eight hundred uh, gold pieces. It's fine furniture from. Oh, um, and, uh, when he starts doing that, I'll call over to him, Kenny. And he turns back to you and, and he gets really behind it. Yeah, and he turns. It gets him really hyped up, and he turns back to you and he runs over to you. And he like kind of sits and looks at you. Uh, I'll just look at Kenny, look at Zerilamir. Did you listen to Zerilamir? Do what he tells you to do, okay? Yeah. Do a one animal handling check for me. Alrighty. On good roll. Okay, it wasn't a one at least. It's a ten total. Ten. He is not happy with the fact that he's being left by you, but... He is kind of like, whatever. I'll listen to this guy, I guess. Well, he's, already, he's, he's already getting that teenage attitude, man. He's growing up fast. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll be hanging around the college. She'll be back to. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this to Kenny, I guess. I'm gonna say, we'll be around, Kenny. Roger Tyler will be back to see you shortly. <laughs> he just kind of looks at you, just like. And then I'm imagining Chuchi's just like flickering his tongue. Yeah. And he looks at Chuchi. And he just kind of turns his head at Chuchi and then he looks back at Ojitai. Uh, and then Ojitai, I'm guessing you like kind of stand up to leave or whatever. Yeah, uh, I'll stand up. I'll grab a. Got some rations and give him some of the, you know, dried meat out of that. Oh, he, he starts going to town on the meat. Uh, and as you get up to leave, he kind of like nuzzles his head up against you real quick and then he kind of goes off and then starts chewing on the couch again <laughs> please do oh my my word the couch oh it is ruined it, it is ruined <laughs> there's no recovering this as he's bitching about the couch and i'm making my way out the door i'm gonna say zirilla man once in a lifetime experience then i'm I, gonna all oh. right I, this there was only one of this is one of five of these couches that were made <laughs> 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 Thank you, Zerilla Mayor. Oh, you you're welcome. I... Walk out, shut the door behind me. Yeah, you hear it like lock uh behind you. Uh, cool. I'm going That is Lanius' room, by the way. What? Oh shit. Is this one down here, Kenji's? Oh. Yeah, that one's Kenji's. Yeah. Uh Damn, there was a there was a nice that. chair. Kenji. There was such Kenji. a nice chair in Lanius' room. Right, I'll sit at the desk. I'm, I'm gonna unload all of the fire salts into this chest. <laughs> you just see, like straight up, like Pablo Escobar kilos, weird, like, kilos of fire salts coming out. Uh, yeah, all of them are in the chest now. Well, I figure if they happen to raid the place and find all the fire salts in Kenji's possession, <laughs> it, it all it all just makes sense. It all just makes sense. I'm just gonna we smart. Very smart. Big brain. Big brain. Um, big brain. brain moves right there. Well, Leds, I presume I'm going to hit the library for a bit. Um, However, I do have a request, uh, Sesh. Oh, just look up from the tome. Huh. You know, the uh, Wesh. special for forge forging of metals that you're so good at. Yeah. And then I'm going to kind of take off this shield. I'm going to pull out that, like, I assume it was like a shoulder piece or something of that fancy, like, golden red armor from that got the plate armor or whatever. And uh, I'm going to say, uh, do you think that you could make me a custom shield? Ah. Uh. Yeah, I could... Spare an hour? Sure. I'd be happy to. I want it to fit on my arm. And I want it to look 
awesome. Then awesome it shall be. Here, there's some paper here on the desk. Why don't you jot down what you have in mind? Or right. draw that draw what you have in mind. Okay. And then uh here, let me uh uh I draw I draw this. Basically, except with red and gold accents. Yeah, yeah. I knew that was coming. That's good. Yeah. Fancy. I can do that. Um, I mean, it's it's not going to be worth over 100 gold, just so you know. It's just but... a normal shield. It's, yeah. Mechanically, yeah. it's just normal shield. You know, looks yeah. cool. cool. Yeah. It's going to cut into an hour of my tome reading, you bastard. I appreciate it, Surgeon. I'm going to fucking pat you on the back. <laughs> All right. So instead of 36 hours left, I will have 37. I'll, I'll, <laughs> and I'm going to sit attentively and watch the process. Cool. So you guys are not headed to the library. You're chilling in there for now. For the, I would for like the hour to... that he's doing that, I will do that. Okay. I'm going to check the window to see if there's a pile of books or anything outside. Okay. So you're, you're <laughs> headed down towards... Uh... Baumgartlinger's yeah, area. Right? Well, yeah. he's he's upstairs, is he not? No, he's or down downstairs, floor. like his actual lab. Yeah, that's where he's at. Okay, we're on a different floor than him, though, right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you're on the floor. Floor. so I'm just I'm just looking out the window to see if the pile exists or if any uh, goodies are out yeah, there. Yeah, there seems to be another pile going on. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go let Rango know because I know he loves the pile of books. Hey, Rango. Nice pile of enchanted books out there if you want to go check them out. Oh, absolutely. I'll, I'll be out there right after right after I see Sasha finish up this shield. Yeah. Well, uh, hey, while, while you're at it, I'm going to attune this ring of feather falling. Don't forget because about I you. Need to do that. Now, I'll do that next time. I mean, you <laughs> Yeah, eight hours. How much we it... have eight hours. It takes an hour. How much time does it? Okay, yeah, perfect. Then I'm gonna do both. Spice murmur. Cool. Are you doing uh, anything specific, Ojutai? Uh, no. At some point, I do want to kind of pull over Gengu to the side and just like, hey, Gengu, are you you okay? That uh, that thing with the executioner seemed to really put you through a loop. Yeah. It's just, I realize how dangerous I really am when I don't have full control. Understand. Well, we certainly say we're glad that you're on our side. Makes me, makes me rethink the fire salts. Makes me rethink my rage. Makes me want to dial back, but also not at the same time conflicting. I, I don't know how to process these thoughts. It's getting pushed in the next update. Uh, uh, a barbarian <laughs> that no longer rages, that refuses to rage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate you checking up on me. I'm fine. All right. Also, if if we need some like RP or vision of what the uh artisan looks like i just kind of imagine as i'm like hovering over it I, I like hover my hammer and just like some i don't know forge like fire like in a line like descends yeah. down from the hammer and then i'm able to cut and mo meld and do as i wish with it hell yeah a swiss army knife of hammers if you if you would I'm imagining yeah. a, uh, yes. a a fucking a laser cutter, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Speaking what of is. Swiss Army knife of hammers, are you allowed to have more than one enchantment on a hammer? Uh, so I have I, barbs right now. I sure would love to go see Baumgartlinger again. I think <laughs> you can. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. I mean, if it's wanna, house rules. If you want to put it through, if I'm planning on sticking with the, yeah, if I'm sticking. 
<laughs> with the Warhammer Plus one the whole time, I might as well make it awesome. Yeah, yeah. Do, if you and then wanna... if I get a Warhammer Plus two, I just had to come back and visit the man. If you want to stick it through his machine again. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Boys, I got to take this Barbie son of a bitch and get some more funky stuff on it. What do you say? <laughs> funky stuff. All right, I'm going to start to read. And I'm going to... Funky stuff. I guess I'm going to take the... Oh, I'm stuck in a wall. No, I'm not. There you go. Taken. We're getting blocked in. Yeah, um, then as you finish up the shield, I assume... how how Are you handing it off to me? I guess you just sat the shield down next to you and started reading, so I'm just gonna scoop it up. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I would present it to you after it was finished. Uh thank cool. you. Who, who all is going to see Bumgartlinger right now, or go to the second floor? I'll I'll tag along for that adventure. Okay. Uh, I wanted to. Um, okay. It's glorious, Sesh. Thank you. No problemo. Uh, Sersha, you're sticking up oh. here to study. Before I leave, I I'm reading sticking. reading the tome until okay. we have to go. What is it? What did you say? Before I leave, I'm going to stick my head in and go, Serge, wear your earmuffs in case we need to contact you. Gotcha. And then I'm gotcha, sticking Andrew. my head in here. I'll knock and then peep in. Um, <laughs> He's just running see? from Kenny. <laughs> you see that the... Oh, yeah, uh, I'm frozen. You see, so We're like, all frozen. It's locked. It is locked. We're so coming locked. back. We locked it. <laughs> but do it. You can do a perception check if you want to try to hear. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that then. It is chaos. Fucking sick. Fuck. Wait. It six. all just came back. Hello. 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 All right. Yeah, all right. I missed all that. What's going on? You just you've been hear... able to hear me. Yeah. 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 I didn't hear anything you guys said. It was I'm all just, just like chopped up. Just checking, checking out what's TV. yeah. Um, so you're able to all hear right. it's like really muffled. It's a thick door, probably good for your like secrecy. Um, but you just hear like the pitter patter of like feet. And it's definitely more than two feet, so you can tell that Kenny's running around. <laughs> okay. Um, and then you just hear like muffled like like. Oh no! Please do not open it. God, it is that is furniture. Oh, that furniture is so expensive. Please stop. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll melt a, I'm gonna melt a coin and message Zerilamir. I'm gonna say, Zerilamir, all good in there. Oh, oh, Kenny's, oh, he's terrific, but, oh, he, he needs to learn some manners. Yeah, yeah, well, sounds like a baby dragon to me. Appreciate you. And then, uh, out of here. Cool, all right. Uh, Sersha, you're studying, but I'll still, you can. Watch yeah, along yeah. with what they're doing. Um, so you can just move your guy wherever you want to, you know, with them. I just follow Gingu around. All right, he's you, invested what the in the fuck task. is going on. <laughs> Gingu is my, tripping balls. My, my, Dave, my screen is just like going crazy. It's scrolling and zooming in and moving at the same time. <laughs> Like I'm holding all the hot keys at once. <laughs> okay, so you guys come into uh, Baumgartlinger's room, all right? That's the plan. Yes, uh, there we in. go. Uh, and without looking, he's he's currently like throwing stuff into the machine. Hmm. Ah, so you finally decided to come back. Ah. Ooh, that was a pretty cool dragon I saw you walking with. Where did you find that? <laughs> 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 and then I'm gonna have Chuchi like kind of perch up and be like and just like squawk at him. And then I'm gonna be like, oh, this he guy here. Around. He turns around. No, the one that you dressed up in that fancy uniform. Oh fuck, see man. Oh, you mean our dog? <laughs> that was no dog. Listen, can I roll deception to... for dog? <laughs> sure. I thank God. And can hey, I? Well, is is uh. Chuchi's Chuchi's helping, right? Sure. I'm, I'm already playing it off. You're gonna need a net twenty to convince him, my guy. It's a sixteen. Ooh, that was a bad roll. Yes, Listen, it was. <laughs> you don't have to worry. I I'm not saying anything. I'm sure I do a bunch of legal stuff myself. 
All right. But mm. anyways, no matter. What are you back in here for? Well, there's chaos in the oh. town. We were hoping that we could get a discount on running yeah, yeah, some yeah, items. Yeah, yeah, through. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but uh, more importantly, we need something more. Uh, you put barbs on this last time, but oh, I'd like something else as well. Um, and he takes it. He goes, "Are oh, the barbs working really well?" The barbs, barbs are very painful, but they do the job. That is great. I'm so glad you're happy with my the mechanism. Ah, uh, I tell you what, I will give you another um, magical uh, influence on this weapon. Ah, uh, if you give me three hundred gold pieces, or you tell me where you found that dragon. Can I insight check that? Yeah. I want to determine whether or not there's like ill intent. And, th- and I got a nat 20. Oh my On gosh. the inside? Yes. Dude, this guy is just literally like... I mean, he's borderline insane, but like it's an insanity of just like wanting to discover and like get knowledge. Like this guy's been around so long. He's like going senile, but he's like super... He's like a, a very intelligent senile. So he's just like <laughs> going to gather information and like do crazy shit and experiment and stuff. So he has no ill intent with it. Like it's just yeah, kind of yeah. like... The thirst for knowledge. Professional thirst curiosity. Knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A okay. senile thirst for knowledge. Uh, then. Or just tell, tell them straight up. Well, wait. I got the net twenty. I wanna, I wanna push this. Yeah, yeah. You I'm got it. Say, you got it. I'm gonna say, I'm Gottlinger. I understand yeah. the professional curiosity, but for such knowledge, you know that that's nearly priceless. What do you say we sweeten the deal? We'll, on on my heart, we'll tell you where we found that dragon. But what do you say that you do all of us a service here? What the hell? Sure, why not? I love oh, to darn it. I'm going to miss out on a fucking free enchantment. Uh, I didn't even have to roll persuasion. Let's go. All right. So... But first, you have to tell me. Of course. Can I insight check that one too? Do I need to insight check that one too? I mean, you can if you want. That's on you. Oh my god! Well, I got a six. On, <laughs> I got a six on that. Uh, you're not, dude, you've been in the. You've been in the. You've been in the the business a long yeah. time. Yeah. You can smell a fishy dill. You you might try to. St- st- Step on Gengu's toes to get yours in first. I don't. Wait, is is that what a fishy deal? Because like, I'm... like he might not do all of yours. He might be trying to like, or or it might not go as well for the other ones. That first one though, you thinking maybe like he'll really spruce it up good. Fuck. Well then, I can just call him out on that, right? Sure, if you want to. Professor. Yes? Surely you wouldn't screw us over on this, right? I said I'd put all of your items in there to further enhance them. What do you say... We run the item... We run one item through the machine. And I give you 300 gold. Better yet. We run one item through the machine... I'll give you 150 gold. We run the next two items through the machine, and then you give me my 150 gold back, and I tell you where the dragon came from. Hmm. This sounds like a good deal. Huh? Okay. And that's what we'll do. Alright, so you get And I'm gonna wave Gingu forward. And I'm going to oh, hand yes. off 150 gold. The Bob Hanver. Get, get, let me see. And he takes the, the hammer Bob and he sticks it in the machine. Uh, and the machine kicks and rattles and goes kind of crazy. Um, Can I roll for it? Uh, Yeah, go ahead and roll a D10 for me. Uh, 
Four. Four. Let's generate. Let's generate, he said. All right. Um, so, you uh, it comes out, um, and you see, first of all, it is glowing with light. And, like, this light is like a beacon. It's it's quite a bright light. And it doesn't seem to be going out as he pulls it out. And he hands it to you. Are you pleased? Oh, what is it? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do an arcana check on it? Yeah, do it. All right. Uh, I got a 23. Okay. Um... So this thing, uh, and, I, and I, I randomly generated this. Uh, it adds, so you have plus one already. It adds another plus two on top of that. What? Hell. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, but it permanently that. sheds a bright light. Oh. Uh, so it's out. permanently bright? It's permanently shedding a bright light. Is it, uh, mag no. is it magical? So, is that a magical light? It, it is magical, yeah. So is it... Of what? Is it okay for me to get a Warhammer plus three, add barbs and the light to it? Yeah. That's essentially what uh, it is. And so we'll say the light, um, we'll just say it acts like a like a torch, basically. So it's 60 feet of dark vision. Um, Sheesh. But like I said, it's Everyone always, doesn't see it. It's yeah. always on. Um, is it like blinding or is it just kind of like... It's not blinding. Just it's yeah. shedding this light. It's like having a... Like a like a flashlight on. Yeah. Um, oh, I shall call it the barbed light bringer. Thank you <laughs> so much. Okay, and would I you... would have slid forward the bag of 150 gold. And I shall equip oh, barbed light. Bringer. Yes. Um the the gold. Um but first you have to tell me where the dragon came from, and then you can have your gold back and I'll put the weapons in. That's not what we agreed on. Please, I just want to know where the dragon came from. <laughs> Take me on my word. You'll know where the dragon came from. But the deal was item in, 150 gold. Next two items, 150 gold back. And you know. Or rather, we can swap those last two. You'll know. And then you hand over my 150 gold. They always say this. Fine, whatever. And he throws the gold at you. He says, give me your weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give him the uh, the shield. Okay. Cool. Uh, roll a d10 for me. Four. Four. Um, so it comes out. Uh, and it also was also gleaming in light. <laughs> what was the the shield like? You just got real stylized, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Completely undoes Search's work. I'm gonna be pissed. Okay. Um and what was it made out of? It was made out of a combination of um well there was plate involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so it stays that. Um it does feel slightly heavier um because it's been increased in thickness, it now is plus uh two onto whatever it was already like ac tight is is the is, four? how does it okay. how does it l look now uh it looks like basically uh you can see like the paint underneath it basically just like added on like a layer of steel on top of search's like artwork okay <laughs> and, like, and like welded itself on okay he goes okay <laughs> okay it's still this. Uh, I, I, was, I was mostly worried about the shape, so. I'm, I'm yeah. I, I look at Rango. These are. Uh, uh, I just, just like give him an eye. Professor, these, I'm randomly generating these. This is a. Uh, <laughs> not to make it matter or anything, but uh, on second thought, I am not satisfied. <sighs> I, I don't think this was quite worth it. I can't tell the machine what to make, and it's random. That is the fun. <sighs> can't you 
strip it off and try again? You want me to go full fresh? All the spells will be gone. <laughs> A brand new weapon. I'm just not a huge fan of carrying around a torch at all times. But well, I won't put you through. Andrew, you can you can store the hammer in your chest when we're not using it, and then you're not. Oh yeah, that's torture convenient. You go into battle, have to open up my chest, get it out. Now I'm ready. It doesn't I'd, make. I'm any just sense. gonna go like, and you were already doing that. Gengu's like, I always got one in the chamber, man. Gengu, safety always off. I've had Gingu, I've had your hammer lit every time we go into battle. Yeah, but what if we're trying to sneak around town or go to a nightclub? Gingu, or... Gingu, the cloth. Something. Or to a nightclub. See if wrapping your cloth around it will will help. My cloth is like yay big. And by the way, it is quite filthy. If I, I do if have I to may clean interrupt, it. if I can keep the 150 gold, I will try again. I'm going to look at Gingu and I'm going to say, Gingu, <laughs> that would be your 150 gold at that point. This is business, my friend. Say no more. Hi. Well, I only have 20 gold. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alone, perhaps? I, I guess I'll just take this barbed light bringer and ah. do with it another day. Thank you, Professor. You're welcome. That is actually quite expensive on the market, I do believe. <laughs> and then, uh... I'll step yeah. around. And, uh... can, I go Can I go check out that pile of books? Yeah, you can go outside. Uh, we'll, we'll get through, see if there's uh, anything uh, to salvage this uh, this warhammer. Uh, and yeah, I'll I'll hand him the back end of the spear. Will this fit in the machine? The spear? Yeah. Uh, everything will fit in there. I'll make it fit. <laughs> and he takes it. And he takes the spear and he breaks it over his knee and he throws the like oh no item in there. Uh, and he's like. So a magical spear we have. Uh, we must generate. See what happens. Uh, roll me a uh, d10. And broke the spear. Also a four. Hell yeah. Also um, amidst the light. Let me look <laughs> up this because this might actually be really cool. Because... I have a feeling when we get to Star Mountain find a guy that does this to weapons, it would be pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they're much better than River March River Marchians. That's actually really sick. Uh because it came out uh, So so uh, I'll let you know a little secret. Basically it's it ran it's been randomly generating like full weapons and I've just been taking the stats that it puts on the weapons. Um, but if you want, it can be a spear because I was gonna make it come out of a spear. But the the uh, the weapon it gave me is is a a, a nunchaku, which is like a club. Do you know what that is? Yeah, oddly fitting for the broken halved spear that went in. Right. Okay. Yeah. But this machine is completely bullshit. So I mean, do you want? It? That'd be cool for a monk to have. Fuck it, sure. Okay. <laughs> um, and you pull it out. He pulls it out. This one is also shedding light. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Not making it up. Shedding light. And he hands it to you. Are you pleased with your weapon? Is it the same damage know. as the spear? Would you like to... Are you going to see what it is? I'm curious myself. Sure. I'll take it and I'll, you know, it around a little bit. Cool. Um, cool. I don't know how to use it. Yes, very good. It does plus two to the weapon. Very good. Yes. I, oh, I love oh. this. Are you sure you don't want me to stick your hammer back in? 
Oh, I'm outside. Oh, <laughs> he is gone. <laughs> he leans. I'm rummaging the through the pile of books. Yeah, he leans his head trying, out the window. Oh. Hello, down there. Are you sure you do not want your hammer inside the machine again? The mechanism yeah. is hungry. I find a really shiny book and just hold it up. And then just run back inside all the way back up. Okay. I don't know what it is, but it looks intriguing. <laughs> okay. Um, and I bring it to him. Professor, surely yeah. you can do something about my hammer. Here, I found this. This looks cool. <laughs> this um, looks cool. And he grabs it and he goes, Ah, that is actually nothing. But <laughs> I appreciate your effort. You said you only have 20 gold? Did I overhear that? <laughs> Can I have the 20 gold? Uh, you're really gonna rub me and... dry there. Well, Rango did always say gold was used to get things that you like, and I do like hammers, so yeah, <laughs> sure. Yes, we shall do this again! And he takes the hammer and he puts it inside the, uh, the thing. <clears throat> All right. Go ahead and roll me a d10. Two. Two. Inscription provides clue to function. That doesn't help me. I don't know what that Um. Cool. You pull it out. Um, it no longer has the barb effects, no longer sheds light, um, but it is plus three. Ooh. So basically it got rid of the barbs and the light, but it's the same plus three. I'm not making this up. This is, this is what I generated. <laughs> I so it just, it just stripped everything away from it. Yeah. That's it. And yeah. gave it a plus Boy, three. That's a pretty good freaking yeah, deal. It already so, had plus wait, three. Does this mean is the? Is it the... already was plus three. No, it was a plus one weapon. Yeah. It was a plus no, one. No, but it. With, with but the... then it had additional plus two whenever you put light on it. Oh, I see. I see. Sorry. So it already was a plus. plus yeah. Two. Lost two traits when I put it in here. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you get when you gamble, Gengu. That's it. Please, just, just once more. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know what else. To, I don't know what else to give you. I will tell you what. Since this one is being difficult, he points to Rango. <laughs> if you tell me where the dragon is, I will put it in one more time. Uh -huh. uh, considering I was born about two months ago, I don't really know where anything is. But I would say some cave uh, that way. Uh, can you throw this in now? Oh, you mean the one by Cabbageville? Perfect. I know yeah, exactly sure. where that cave is. Um, Do with that intel as you'd like. Just fix this cool. hammer, please. Just fix this <laughs> hammer, please. <laughs> 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 All right. He, throw it, he throws it in. Okay. Roll it Can we in. not have it lose the plus three and just depend on to that? Because I had something so nice going. All right. Roll you said D10. D10. Yeah. Fuck. You're gambling. Three. <laughs> Pulls it out. Oh no. Shedding a bright light. <laughs> Let me roll like out no, of wait. a hold on, hold on a second. It's 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 bright light. Um but you realize that this light uh it blinds you for, for a brief moment as he pulls it out because you weren't expecting it. Um but it's covered in, in like ice. It looks frosty. Uh and he hands it to you. And he goes, oh, this one right here? This is a very nice weapon. I cannot believe. This is probably the best one out of the bunch. Plus four. Oh, yes. It does frost damage. And it sheds light. Oh, my God. Oh, hell yeah. It is amazing. Well, happy with it. I will say this is much of an upgrade. And I'm completely broke. And uh, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> thank, You're very welcome. Thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I gotta find this weapon now. I don't even know if these. Are and okay, I'm gonna say, all right, Bombardlinga, that was excessive, but my gold. 
Do I have to? <laughs> a deal's a deal, Baumgartlinger. And I'm a man Fine. of business. He hand you the gold. You may have your gold back. Noise. Noise. And then I'm gonna give him like a nod of approval. I respect a man, a man that stays by his word. Yes. As do I. Good day. <laughs> and he starts working again. This guy. And then I'm gonna say, this guy. Gingu, you obviously didn't find shit in that book pile. I gotta check huh, this shit out yeah. for myself. Yeah, for oh, sure. Fuck. Way to floor up. See ya. Yeah, I'll yeah, stroll yeah, down the there. Floor. The second floor, you just jumped out of the window. I'll stroll down there, not through the window. <laughs> All right. Do a do a investigation check for me. So oh, fuck it. Do you mind if I do that as well? Sure. Go for it. I got an eleven. Not great. All right. Also eleven. Oh, cool. Hey. Perfect. Uh, both of you guys roll a d10. That's a d100, fuck. Shit. Several. Oh my god. <laughs> also four. sevens. So oh, both of us got sevens. Oh, both of you one. got a seven? Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, both of you find... A you both go scrummage through the pile and you both, your hands meet on the same bottle of potion that you find at the bottom there. I'm just gonna look up at Ojitai and then I'm gonna slowly start lifting it from beneath the pile. Just gonna keep my hand on it the entire time. <laughs> I'm gonna start examining the bottle. Okay, do an Arcana check. Chuchi's gonna be helping me, of course, so... Yep. It's a nat 20. You don't know shit about potions. A nat 20. Yeah. This potion is a protection from arrows. It can protect up to 10 arrows. Protect you from up to 10 arrows? Yes. Basically, it uh, adds, like, disadvantage on anybody shooting arrows at you. For, for 10. Okay. It lasts for one hour. Are you saying what it does? Yes, it lasts for one hour. Uh, uh, is oh, is Rango? Oh, uh, I'm gonna say, Ajitai, you got any clue what this is? No idea. I think that uh, uh, oh, wait a second. And then I'm kind of like gonna eye your armor up. Which are you wearing armor? I don't wear armor. Okay, I'm gonna be like. You can, like, catch arrows and shit, right? They teach you how to do that? At monk school? At monk school? <laughs> I, I can try. Nobody shot an arrow at me. I don't know how well it works, but I've got an idea on how to catch an arrow. I'm just going to take my hand off the bottle. That's protection from arrows, bud. Oh, okay, and I just toss it to you. <laughs> okay, then I'll... Don't you have like, a <laughs> missile do I, thing? Do I... He does, yeah. Give yeah, me I... a... Uh... Oh, Give fuck, me... here we go. Like, like slide of hand a, or performance yeah, yeah, or some slide shit. It, slide of hand. It's gonna there. break, oh no. You slide of hand? 20. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, you catch it. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Backpack. Backpack, backpack, backpack. Okay. Here's the thing. If you were going to lie to me there, I was going to start insight checking. If you oh. just said exactly what it was, it's like, oh, yeah, fuck that. I don't need it. <laughs> well, part of me was like, ah, oh, the AC difference. Um, then I'm going to I don't have any other shit that I'd like to do before we get with Lanius. I'll go to the library, like I said, cool. for the remainder of the time until 10 p.m. Cool. So you walk over to the library? Uh, yeah, if I can fucking glitch myself through this wall. 
Yep. And you find Lanius is chilling inside of his of, of this study room here. There's a bigger library off to the right, but there is in the study room Lanius is, is hanging out inside of it. Were you wanting to talk to him at all? Um I guess as I approach I'll say uh actually no, I'm just gonna go into this room. And cool. pass that room and go straight to this room. Uh, there you see a student studying. Open a, open a book. He's just studying. Okay. Cool. Uh, so are, is the plan to just wait until it's time, basically? At this point? Or does anybody have anything else they so, want to do? Do we go check up on uh, Reese? Oh, on your uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm reading. Until we're... Yeah, see if Reese is uh, still hanging in there. Go find him at a pub. But also, yeah, I think this is a good place to cut it off and start next time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I I I concur. Hopefully, I have all this uh, internet connection thing figured out next time. Yeah. That was mildly frustrating. Uh, dude, I I love playing Bumgartlinger. By the way, that might be one of <laughs> next to to the Bean Cobalt Bumgartlinger is like one of my favorite NPCs I've made. Bean. Wait, you don't you don't like uh what's his name? Ch uh what the fuck is your dragon's name? Jinji or uh Chichi? Chuchi. Chuchi. Oh yeah, yeah. Chuchi. Chuchi's good too. Chuchi's good too. I like yeah. Chuchi. Chuchi's nice. Not gonna lie, I'm stoked for my nunchucks of light right here. Yeah. Your nunchucks Hell, of yeah. light. So it'll be a fucking this is... rave. It's just glow sticks. Yeah, don't you don't mind it. Yeah, you basically have dancing lights now as a weapon. Yeah, for sure. I don't know why like, I can't put like light on boy. the weapon. Literally, like, so you put light much. on the weapons for both of the guys so that we're, don't have dark we've been vision. having them yeah, cast light on our weapons so we can see anyway. So. It was completely it's random. Perfect. So literally I went to so last time I did minor items for you guys when you were here with them, and then I was like, I'll bump it up to medium and I hit generate, and then there was like some cool ones, and so I kept just hitting generate and then I was like, yeah, these are different kinds. I was like, okay. I didn't see anything with light. And then literally I hit generate on your alls and it was like seven of them had like light on them. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it, was just like, it was like plus like two or plus three and then light. And I was like, okay. Um, but yeah. No, I think Gengu ended up like really well with his weapon. Completely Fucking... random, by the way. That Plus frost. Three. So is the frost just uh, frost well, damage, just in case it comes in handy, or basically, yeah. So like, basically, if anything has resistance to frost damage, then that's a problem for you. It's gonna be just but plus anything... two. It's gonna be like a plus two. Huh? Yeah. Like it'll. Yeah. Like it won't. So, it's plus four, but it the whole weapon as a whole, like it now whatever, it does like piercing frost damage. So like it's it's just its damage is now attuned to frost. All of the damage is frost. Yes. So if you go into something that's resistant to frost, then it's going to be a detriment. But if anything is not, aka like anything that breathes fire, deals with fire, you'll have basically advantage with. Oh. Guess I'll just uh yeah whenever I get to that point, ask about it. Yeah. What they're resistant to? If I do a nature check or two, figure it out. Uh, that one was like the only one that was like crazy. I did tell you though on the on the second time you put it in, I said like it's gonna wipe everything off. <laughs> <laughs> I did warn you, so yeah. I mean, um, I, I would have been fine with the Warhammer plus two or plus three, but you know, I had to go back. And he just kept pulling the slots. Also, by the way, look at this hit bonus. It is fucking ridiculous. Plus ten damage is a D ten plus seven. Ooh. That shit thick. All of our upcoming enemies just got at least one level harder. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> you have, you have sure. plus 10 to hit? You got plus For 10 to sure. hit now? Yes, I do. That's crazy. Plus we're eight get, now we're getting big thickums. Hell yeah. <clears throat> All right. Potion cool. of um, dodge arrows or some shit, right? Yeah, it was. I think it was just like, yeah, potion of uh, like, yeah, dodging arrows. Advantage. Like 
Um, so right, like uh, advantage or like uh, so like if they're shooting at you with arrows, like disadvantage for them. Okay. On attack rolls. If you have it, um, and it's good for up to ten arrows, or after an hour of it, you know, you drinking it, it depletes. Okay. Okay. And so I'll throw like bolts in that too. Pretty much any missile that's not magical. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Anything I could catch with my uh, deflect missile ability. Yeah. Uh, mm. Did anybody see uh, little baby Kankins being down there? Uh, when you said that he was a hobbit, I was just like, "Oh, you motherfucker! I know where you're going with this." Yeah. Yeah. Um. Does so. <laughs> Cole, my title now, I think it was yeah. last session. Does that yes. make sense? Yeah. A spoiled cabbage. Yeah. Yeah. He thought that we were going to run into the executioner instead of running down deeper to the uh, guy with yeah. the Tome of Understanding. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. that's where I came into the idea of, well, why don't we, instead of Cole, like I'm telling him a name for the, the, the shit, like the session, because. It's been several times now where you guys take it in a totally different direction. I'm like, well, this makes no sense. And then yeah. I'm like, just do clickbait for the for the for the Twitch stream, and then for the the YouTube video on Vaughn, you can title it. Whatever yeah. Happened. So now, perfect. Uh, uh spoil the cabbage. Makes sense perfect. now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've had that planned out pretty much from the get go. Um, also, Heck, yeah, the army being down there. Uh, so yeah, that was. So if we much went into that that's... first, we'd just be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. This big army. I mean, it makes sense why they're doing it now that we have like the TMN information, but yeah, that's fucking beyond us. We're gonna have to. I don't know what kind of solution we're gonna have to find to that. That's shit. a full blown war. Yeah. It just is. seriously powered up Gingu. Just send him down there. He'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Steamroll. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, As soon, dude, if I get into rage and I have a frenzy attack and my normal attack, I'm attacking three times with a damage, plus man. 10 hit bonus. Just be like, yeah. <laughs> I saw a TikTok today that was like what the DM thinks of every class as people tell them that they are playing it yeah and they're like barbarian they're like uh all right don't bring this guy into combat very often <laughs> <laughs> like it'll be very obnoxious and then like with uh with warlocks he's just like uh yeah another one of these just blasted all the time <laughs> once again the initiatives on on the fucking things are so bad <laughs> I, I the executioner got like an eight and then little kankin's got like a like a six or something. Like Little Kank. Little like, Kank. No, what the fuck? Oh, you'll get us one, you know, one good time, you know. I know. Yeah. Well, I did on on the fucking Cobalt fight, but that wasn't a big like pivotal character. I want these pivotal characters to do something. All right. <laughs> Straight up getting whacked right off the, you know. Hold fucking person. Aren't moving anywhere. Yeah, that was super beneficial in that fight. Yeah, thank that was God huge. that landed. Um, but yeah, like also uh, Sersha having the fort site, uh, fort site to uh, do the wisdom saving advantage. That was huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad yeah. I asked Reese um, what he what he did because that fight could have been so different. It could have been like half the party fighting each other. And, like, yeah, that been, like, honestly, it's a part of it. We're all big brain as fuck. It would have been badass. We need to just like not be inquisitive. Yeah. Dude, oh man, I'm, and like, I was like, I was like, oh man, dude, the Inquisitor, it's, he's gonna really get him. He's gonna scare him up because he was wearing a breastplate, so his AC wasn't bad. Um, so I was like, he'll he'll be able to dodge some shots or whatever. Uh, it's plus seven with his weapon to hit, and I'm like, so he'll land some hits on him. It'll be great. Uh, and then it's uh, he doesn't have a shield, so it's two handed. So it's one d10 plus four. And then four d eight of force damage, just the way his Holy. like character have. So I was like, I was like, he gets a hit. It's gonna be great. It's gonna like they're gonna be you know. And then he got frozen. And Holy like, well, fuck! Yeah, I was like, this will be great. The, this will put the fear of God in them or more. <laughs> and then, 
it was like, nope, he's gonna roll. He got a six, a six on his initiative. Uh, little Kangan's got an eight. Yeah. Damn it. One, one good time. One good time. All right, boys. I will see you next week. All right. I'm gonna hit the hay. See you later. See ya. Is the stream goodbye, fellas? Audio. Sayonara.